Today, I'm doing a skibbity build challenge in Minecraft with my girlfriend. But what she doesn't know is I'm going to be hiring the TV woman to help me cheat and win. Well, anyway, Zoe, are you excited for today's skibbity build challenge? I am so excited, but what are we building, Dax? Well, Zoe, if you look inside this dispenser, there's actually a bunch of different options that you can choose from. And whenever you're ready, you can just hit the button on top to see what we're going to build first. Awesome. Let's see what I get. Come on, please be something good. What do we get, Zoe? We got the G-Man. Oh my gosh, I love the G-Man. Okay, you're going to have 10 minutes to make your build, Zoe. And I think I want to build on the purple side today. What? You want to build on the purple side? That means I have to build on the gross green side. Uh, No, of course, Zoe. I don't want to build on the purple side. That color sucks. But just go over to your side. You have 10 minutes to make your build. Best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys, perfect. And now that we're on to our side, I actually set up something a little bit that I can cheat with. If you look in this direction, I have a big TV woman head. And inside of it, I can by a professional skibbity builder let's go inside and see who is willing to trade with us i really want a good professional builder hey skibbity dop i told you i was coming and now i'm finally here oh hello dax did you come to buy a professional builder yes i did and i really want a really good builder and let's see who do you have it looks like you have the speaker woman you have a normal skibbity toilet you have the upgraded tide speaker man and you have the tv woman is that all you have today yeah these are all the people i have but trust me they are all super super good builders so whichever one you want is going to be excellent mm, well let's see who do do I think I want? You know what? What if I just get the tight speaker, man? He's really good. Well, he's gonna cost you three stacks of diamonds. Wait, did you just say three stacks of diamonds? What the heck? I don't have that many diamonds. Who else can I get that's like less than a stack of diamonds? Well, you could either get the normal toilet or you could get the TV woman. They're both worth about 32 diamonds. Okay, either one of them is 32 diamonds. Well, I don't really want the toilet. He's really creepy. I mean, just look at his face. How about I just take the TV woman for, what'd you say, 32 diamonds? Yes, 32 diamonds and you can have her. You better not be lying right as long as he's a professional builder, I should be good for this. Oh, yeah. Well, don't worry, Dax. She is an excellent builder. She can help you build whatever you want. Okay. Well, here you go. 32 diamonds. Now, can I have the TV woman to help me build? Oh, uh, yeah. Of course. You can just break the glass and you can get her out. Thank you so much, Skimmy Dop. I really appreciate it. And oh, I think he's leaving. Okay. Well, he said I could just break the glass and get the TV woman out. Okay. All I have to do is open this door and perfect. Hey, TV woman. Hi, Dax. What did you need? Uh, well, I needed a professional builder because I am doing a building challenge with my girlfriend, Zoe. So, I heard you are pretty good. Can you help me out? Yeah, I'm a pretty great builder. What do you need help with? Mm, well, let's see. I think for the first round, we actually got the G-Man. Is that something you can build? Yes, I have plenty of experience building the G-Man. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, how about you just go build up like somewhere in that direction over there? And while you're doing that, I'm going to mess with Zoe. Okay, sounds good. Okay, guys, now that the TV woman's over there and making our G-Man build, I can actually go prank Zoe. And of course, in order to go over there, I need to become invisible. So why don't I grab myself a nice invisibility potion and then I can just splash it on myself so I can walk over there. Let's go see what Zoe's up to. And perfect, guys. Now we're on to Zoe's side. And oh my gosh, look, there's Zoe right there. It looks like she's starting to make her G-Man build. Man, I love building. I am such a good builder. This is so much fun. Honestly, Zoe is looking like a pretty good builder. I can't build worth anything. But you know what? I have to prank her a little bit. So what's something fun we could do? While Zoe's building, what if I just go ahead and spotted a few different TV men that she's gonna have to fight and oh my gosh look they're trying to fight her what the heck where did these TV men come from good thing I have my sword with me okay she does have a sword but what if I spotted a bunch of TV men she's gonna be so confused this is not good where did these people come from I died wait what they just took out Zoe oh my gosh and wait I think she's coming back for revenge get back here oh my gosh she is going to work on them let me spot it a bunch more TV but there's no way that Zoe can actually win this man it's like they're multiplying this is crazy what in the world zoe is literally so strong and oh my gosh there's only like a couple tv men left how in the world is she so strong perfect now there's only a few up here and then i should be safe okay i mean she did do a pretty good job she took all of them out which is cool i guess but she did lose once which is pretty funny perfect now that i defeated all of them i can go back to building my g-man okay she's going back to building her g man so i think i can do a different prank but what should i try and do this time oh i have a really good idea what if i go into my inventory and grab this one dynamite called the lightning dynamite and basically if i throw this down at her a bunch of lightning will appear just like that what the heck where did that lightning come from there's not even that many clouds in the sky oh my gosh guys this is so funny so he's just getting zapped with lightning she is so confused where all this stuff is coming from what the heck my mom caught on fire what is going on dax uh Hey, Zoe, what's up? Why in the world are you screaming at me? Because it's lightning on my side. Is it lightning on your side too? Oh yeah, it's, um, I'm getting a big lightning storm on my side. I don't know what's going on. Like the skies are really clear, but the lightning's just coming out of like thin air basically. I know 
it's super crazy. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, I don't really know, but uh, you might want to figure that out and get your bill done. Yeah, we only have five minutes left. I need to figure out something fast. Wait a second. Did Zoe just say we have five minutes left? Oh gosh, we should probably go check out the TV room and see how our build's coming along. Okay, look, it looks like the TV room is right there. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a bucket of milk so I'm no longer invisible and perfect. Here we are and what the heck? She built this whole thing? Hey, TV woman, did you build this entire thing? Yep, I sure did. Doesn't it look amazing? What in the world? You really are a professional builder. Oh my gosh. Skibbity Top was not lying at all. This looks like the G-Man and it's so perfect. Is there anything else you want me to do? Well, hmm, I kind of want to have a few different challenges for Zoe, but we only have four minutes. Could you maybe make like a parkour challenge and then like a big water dropper at the end? Yes, I can certainly do that. Okay, perfect. While you're doing that, I'm going to go mess with Zoe a bit more. Thanks again, TV woman. No problem. Guys, she is such an insane builder. I mean, look at this whole thing. This is just crazy. But we still do have a few minutes, so let's go ahead and splash ourselves with some visibility again, and I can go over to Zoe's side. And what the heck? She built this whole thing? Why is everyone such a good builder except me? This makes no sense. Yay, my build's practically done, and I even have a little challenge for Dak. Wait, she has a little challenge for me? What in the world is she talking about? I spawned in a bunch of G-Men, and he's gonna have to defeat them in order to defeat my build. Oh my gosh, she spotted a bunch of G-Men, and guys, look at this build. This is honestly super, super impressive. I can't believe she actually built this. Well, we only have like a minute left, so I think I'm just gonna relax until Dax is ready. Wait, guys, she said we only have a minute left. Quick, we have to get back and check on the TV woman. Let me just make sure to drink this milk bucket and now I can head over. And let's see what she ended up doing. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this parkour she added in. And wait, is that a diving board up there? Whoa, that must mean that she has a water jump to do at the end. TV woman, you did such a good job. Thank you so much. I hope that it meets to your standards. I think it actually blew away my standards, but quick, you're gonna have to go hide somewhere because otherwise Zoe's gonna get really, really mad that you helped me build this. Okay, I'll go back into the head. Wow, guys, she did such a good job look at all of this parkour this is so cool and let me see what this diving board jump looks like at the end i guess always gonna have to come up here and jump from here all the way down into this water whoa this is gonna be super difficult for her well anyways since my build is already done we should probably see if zoe's ready hey zoe how's your build coming along my build's coming along great i'm all done oh perfect okay how about we check each other's build out and i think i want to check out your side first is that okay yep come on over okay zoe i'm super excited to see your build and wow this is your g-man yep doesn't it look amazing honestly it does look pretty good zoe you did a really good job thanks dax that's nice of you to say let me just go ahead and inspect the whole thing yeah you have the g-man head and you have the water and you have the whole toilet this is really good i think i'm gonna go ahead and give you a pretty good rating wait before you give me a rating i have a challenge for you wait you have a challenge for me well what do you have go through those doors and find out uh okay let's go ahead and see and uh wait a second zoe why did those this put me in to survival mode because you're gonna have to fight all of those g-men wait i have to fight all the g-men zoe there's literally no armor anywhere and wait oh there's a little chest here am i supposed to look inside this chest well duh all right let's see what did you end up giving me and wait you literally gave me leather armor but i mean i guess you gave me golden apples so i should be okay to take out all these g-men see you'll be fine let me just go ahead and put this shield on and then i'll also get these golden apples and i guess whenever i'm ready i'm just supposed to like jump in there yep go ahead all right let me break this glass like this and then i'm gonna let them out of here so i can fight them all come on dax you got this oh my gosh wait zoe they are all jumping me what the heck is this i mean what did you expect dax i don't know but there are so many wait why is there a baby villager inside of here um he's part of their army no witnesses he's going out too oh my gosh that's so mean wait i need to eat more golden apples oh gosh i don't have that much health come on come on let me take them all out there is way too many dax come on you got this come on keep hitting them all they're all in a big group i should be able to do this come on come on you're doing really good dax and wait these guys over here aren't even trying to fight me what the heck are they doing so i think some of your guys are bugged well some of them just aren't violent oh i'm gonna be violent and take them all out there's only two of them left and perfect and oh wait that little villager is still there should i take him out too no leave him be all right i'll take him out too don't worry come on get out of here dax stop doing that and perfect i took everyone out which means i'm the ultimate champion zoe that was not cool dax but i guess you did pass the challenge well, I think I'm going to give your build a solid 9 out of 10. You did really good, Zoe. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dax. That's so nice of you to say. Well, now let's go ahead and check out my side. Okay, Zoe, go ahead and come over and check out my side. Whoa, this looks super cool. You built this all on your own? Uh, yeah, I built this completely by myself, Zoe. Doesn't it look so good? It looks crazy good. I don't know how you could have done this by yourself. Oh, thank you, Zoe. I'm just a really talented builder. But I actually do have one little challenge for you. Really? Where is it? You're going to have...
gonna have to do a little bit of parkour. And as you can see, there's a couple oak planks over there where you can start at. Okay, I think I can do this. I'm getting better at parkour. Uh, I doubt that, Zoe. I don't think you're that good at parkour, but I mean, I guess we'll see. That's not very nice, Dax. Look, I'm doing good so far. Honestly, you are having a pretty good start. Okay, you definitely have been practicing. What the heck is this, Zoe? I've been practicing because you always make me do parkour. Okay, fair enough. But this next one is a little bit of ladder parkour, so it's probably gonna be a bit difficult for you. Ladder, schladder, I got this. Okay, and now you're gonna have a little fan to go up on it. Whoa, look at that. It oh, looks like you missed, Zoe. Ha <laughs> ha. Dang it, I was so close. It's okay. You can just try again. Maybe this time you can land on the block. And wow, good job, Zoe. Yes, that was a little tricky, but I did it. Okay, just a few more jumps. And then you're going to have another one of those fans that you're going to have to fly up on again. Man, why do you keep making me do these fans? I mean, you said you were better at parkour. And whoa, look how high you went. I went super high. That was actually kind of fun. Okay, Zoe, you're almost to the end of this challenge. All you're going to have to do is go to the edge on this diving board and then jump into a pit of lava. Dax, you know I'm afraid of heights. Why would you make me jump into that? Uh, I don't know, because it's part of the challenge. And wait, I might have said lava, but don't worry, Zoe. It's just harmless water. So as long as you land in it, you'll be perfectly okay. Okay, well, if it's water, I think I should be okay. All right, let's see what you can do, Zoe. I believe that you can do this. Whee, here I go. And oh my gosh, look at that. You landed straight in the water. Good job, Zoe. Thanks, Dax. That was a lot of fun. Okay, Zoe, you know what? Since you actually beat my parkour, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the first round win. How does that sound? That sounds amazing. I'm so happy. All right, Zoe, but it's best out of three. So let's go ahead and head back to our dispenser to see what we're gonna build next. Okay, let's go. Okay, Zoe, whenever you're ready, you can just hit the little button to see what we're gonna have to build next. Whoa, it's the TV woman. This is awesome. Wait, we got the TV woman? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such an easy round. Okay, Zoe, you have 10 minutes once again. Best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and head back to the TV woman and I can ask her to make another super good build since, I mean, this build was pretty awesome. I can't even lie. Okay, TV woman, I'm back. I need your help with another build. Can you help me out real quick? I'm sure I can. What do you need me to build? Well, I actually need you to build a TV woman if you could do that. Wow, that should be super easy. I'm the best at building the TV woman. Okay, well, I would hope you're the best since you are the TV woman, but I'm gonna go ahead and check out Zoe's build a little bit while you build that, okay? Okay, have fun. Okay, guys, and of course, before we head over to Zoe's side, let's go ahead and splash herself with a bit more invisibility. That way, she doesn't get suspicious. Let's go see what she's gonna start building for her TV woman, and hey, look, it looks like she's starting to build something already. This is gonna be so easy. I know the TV woman like the back of my hand. Well, if this is gonna be really easy for her, guys, we probably shouldn't let her have an easy time. What could I do to mess with her? It ooh, Wait a second. What if I just got some cobwebs and like got her stuck in it? So she's super, super slow. Let's just go ahead and smack this on the ground and perfect. Now Zoe's stuck in cobwebs. What the heck? Where did these cobwebs come from? Oh my gosh, guys. She is getting so bad. I'm moving so slow. It's going to take me forever to build my TV woman. And oh gosh, guys. Okay, wait. She got out of the cobwebs a little bit too fast. Let me just go ahead and break these and let's see. What's something else I could do to mess with her? What if I just got a really funny spawn egg to mess with her? I actually have this one called the Titan Speaker Woman. And if I spawn her in, it'll be really funny. Let me just go ahead and put a whole bunch of them around Zoe's bills. So that way she gets attacked. Whoa, where did this Titan Speaker Woman come from? This is insane. But it looks like they died. Oh, there's still some more. Wait, how is Zoe even taking them out so fast? Guys, come on. We have to spawn it out a bunch more. There's no way that Zoe can take all these people out. This is not looking good. And at this rate, I'll never be able to do my build. Okay, it looks like she's getting jumped. I think Zoe is actually gonna lose. And wait, all these Titan speaker women are dropping so fast. How in the world is this even possible? It seems like they're multiplying again. What the heck? Why does this always happen to me? Okay, wait, there's only a few left. There's no way that Zoe can take out these last few without taking too much damage. Perfect. I took them all out. Now it's time to get back to my build. Oh my gosh, guys. This is completely ridiculous. I can't believe she took them out that easily. You know what? I should probably go check up on the TV woman again and see how our build's coming along. Let's go ahead and see. And what the heck? This is the TV woman? This thing is absolutely crazy. You built this? Yes, Dax. How does it look? This looks so good. How in the world did we even do this? You're so talented. Well, thank you so much. That's very kind of you to say. Well, I think we still do have a couple minutes left in this build battle. So could you add one thing in for me? Sure. What is it? Can you add in like a fake entrance and a real entrance? And inside of the real entrance, I want there to be like a bunch of TV women that Zoe has to fight. Okay, I can do that. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna go back and see how Zoe's build's coming along. Let's go ahead and see how her build is looking. And wow, this is Zoe's TV woman. This is kind of pathetic. I'm not gonna lie. And is she running around on a couch car? Man, my build looks so good. And I'm so happy I brought my couch car today so I could pass the time. Uh, I mean, her build is kind of mid. So I don't really know what to say, but I probably could mess with her a little bit. Let's get something really funny. Well, what if I use this one TNT called the physics dynamite? Basically, if I throw this at her, everything's just gonna explode. So let's see what she thinks whenever she sees everything flying around. What the heck? Why 
what just happened? It almost hit my couch car. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at all the destruction that caused. Let's go ahead and throw another one right in front of Zoe. What the heck? That almost hit my build. Oh, wait. It almost did hit our build. What if I just go ahead and throw one at the face of our build? And, oh gosh, wait. I missed. And whoa, look at the head. <gasps> Oh no, the top of my build just got destroyed. This is not cool. Hey, Zoe, uh, the time's almost up. How's your build looking? It's looking awful. There's explosions happening on my side and my build just got ruined. Wait, there's explosions happening on your side and your build got ruined? Yes, this is so not fair. Oh man, that is a little bit unfortunate, Zoe. Well, you only have like two minutes left, so you better figure it out. What? Can I have more time? Uh, you have two minutes and 30 seconds. That's a little bit more time. Oh gosh, I gotta hurry. Okay, guys, Zoe is definitely not gonna have that build done in time. Let's go ahead back and see what the TV woman ended up making. Okay, TV woman, I went ahead and checked up on Zoe. Did you go ahead and make that fake entrance and the real entrance like I asked? Yep. I sure did. Okay, well, where are these entrances at? And I see a bit of purple over here. Is that where one of the entrances is? Yep, it sure is. Uh, you know that I don't like the color purple, right? Why would you use purple? Well, you see, that's the fake entrance. And I made it out of purple because that's Zoe's favorite color. And it's going to trick her. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. But wait, where in the world is like the fakeness in this? Go ahead and walk forward and you'll see. Uh, okay, let's see it. Whoa, wait, did you add in ghost blocks there? Yep, super creative, right? Oh, that is the perfect fake entrance. But if this is the fake entrance... Where's the real entrance? Follow me to the top. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. I see a bunch of line blocks up there. Does that happen to be the real entrance? It might be, considering that's your favorite color. Oh, you are such a genius TV woman. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. Well, what in the world is this real entrance supposed to be? All I see is a bunch of buttons, but there's no way out. One of these buttons, when they're pushed releases a hidden door. Oh, really? I'll activate a hidden door. Let's see. Where could it be? It oh, wait. I think I found it. And when Zoe goes through the trap door, all of the TV women are going to be down there that she has to... Oh, my gosh. Okay, TV woman, that is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and check up on Zoe, and I think I'm going to need you for one final round, okay? Okay, sounds good. Okay, Zoe, well, my build is done, and I think the time is up. Can I come over and check out your side? Yeah, you can come over, but just know that this isn't really my work because it got exploded. Uh, okay. Well, let's just go over there and see. Wow, Zoe, this build is all destroyed and it sucks what were you even thinking Dax, keep walking uh keep walking well what do you mean there's a build behind it wait there's a build behind it and what the heck how did you even build this thing because i've been practicing my building skills i'm getting a lot better what i thought i destroyed enough of your build where you wouldn't be able to make another one how is that even possible what do you mean you destroyed my build uh, no i didn't say i destroyed your build that you said someone destroyed your build and then i got confused and then i said i destroyed it yeah it was a big confusion mess but uh this looks good zoe thanks Dax. Yeah, you seem real confused. Well, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and give your score like a 7 out of 10 since all the ground in front of it is like destroyed and this weird build in front of it is really destroyed too. It looks kind of ugly and takes away from the awesomeness of this build. But if you were just grading this build, what would you give it? Mm, like a 9 out of 10, but I can't just grade that build. So you get a 7 out of 10. Woohoo, I got a 9 out of 10. Okay, whatever, Zoe. You can just take the 9 out of 10. It doesn't even matter. Let's just go check out the better build, which is going to be my side. But Dax, remember, if I win this whole round, that means I win the entire build challenge. Yeah, Zoe, but just trust me, you won't. Okay, Zoe, well, welcome over to my TV woman build. Whoa, this is so crazy. How did you build this? Oh, because I'm like super talented, Zoe. You should already know that I'm like the best builder ever. She's huge. And it looks like there's a door over here. Should I go in there? Oh, yeah. It's made out of purple, so I figured you would like it. Yay, I love purple. That's so nice that you added that in. Uh, yeah, of course, Zoe. Well, good luck. What the heck? I'm falling into the void. Haha, <laughs> Zoe, you found the fake entrance. What? The fake entrance, Dax? That is not cool. So does that mean there's a real entrance? Yeah, there is a real entrance, and you're gonna have to figure out where it is. Well, knowing you, you probably made it out of green. I don't know. Maybe, Zoe, you should go ahead and check out the TV we built, and maybe you can find it. Wait a sec. I see some green up here. I don't know. Maybe that is the real entrance. You're going to have to go inside and see. Whoa, and there's a room full of buttons in here. Yeah, but actually, one of these buttons will open up a hidden trap door that leads you onto your next challenge. Really? There's multiple challenges? That is so not fair. You are getting super close to it. Come on, you got this. And perfect. You found it. Whoa, and then there's a door. Yep, good luck down there. What the heck? There's a bunch of TV women in here. Well, Zoe, you're going to have to take them all out if you want to win. Whoa, they're jumping me. This is totally not fair. Yeah, I don't think you're going to win. You are getting absolutely destroyed right now. No way. I'm defeating them. I see a lot of them dying. Yeah, I don't know, Zoe. I definitely think you're going to lose. There is just way too many of them for you to take out. And oh, it looks like you finally lost, Zoe. Dang it. 
I died. Well, Zoe, that makes the score one to one. So I guess we have to move on to our final round. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready to win. Okay, go ahead, hit the button and see what we're going to be building. Whoa, it's the Titan Speaker Man. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. And let's have a fast round, Zoe. You only have five minutes to make your build, okay? Five minutes? Are you serious? We got to go. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and ask the TV woman if she can make us one more build. Hey, TV woman, I'm back and I need one more build. Okay, what do you need? I would like you to make the Titan Speaker Man. Can you make that happen? Yep. I can definitely do that. Oh, perfect. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, guys. And while she's going to make the Titan Speaker Man, I should probably go ahead and just see what Zoe's build's looking like. Let me just go ahead and grab myself an invisibility potion, and then we can see what Zoe's up to on her side. And, uh, wait a second. What the heck is this? This is like a super cool build. And wait, who in the world is Zoe talking to right now? Thank you so much for helping me with this build. I'm so glad that I hired you. Of course. I am a professional builder after all, and I think I did a pretty solid job. You can definitely beat Dax now. Yes, you did an amazing job. This is awesome. Wait, what the heck? Zoe hired a professional builder to help her make this final build? That is so cheating. And since my build is done and I still have time left, I'm just going to go ahead and relax. Guys, what the heck? I can't believe Zoe actually hired someone to make this. This is so crazy. You know what? And I do want to add something to her build that will actually mess everything up. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a panic button. And I'm also going to grab a piece of TNT. And I think I'm going to grab something called the death ray. Let's go ahead and put ourselves a piece of TNT down here in the ground like that. And then we'll cover it up and put this panic button on top. And Zoe's going to be super confused where this panic button came from. And she's probably going to end up pressing it. Quick, let's get back to our site and see how the TV woman's doing. And what the heck? Wait, it looks like the TV woman made a really cool build, but I don't think she's finished it yet. She still has the legs. Hey, uh, Miss TV Woman, what's going on over here? What's wrong? I still have five minutes left. No, TV Woman, this round is only five minutes long, and you don't even have the legs done yet. Well, I hate to say it, Dax, but you didn't tell me. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I don't think it's that big of a deal. This does look pretty cool already, so I'm pretty sure I'll still end up winning. Good. I'm glad you like the build. Okay, Zoe, well, I think the five minutes is already up. Can we check out each other's builds already? Yep. This time, can I come over to your side first? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you can come over to my side. Just meet me in the middle. Okay. And perfect. Now you can just go ahead and check out my super awesome tight speaker man build. Wow, he looks super cool, but he's missing a few things. Oh, yeah, he's missing legs. You know, we only had five minutes, so I just decided to make the upper half of the body. It still looks pretty realistic, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks super cool, but I definitely can't give you a 10 out of 10 if he doesn't have legs. Wait, what? You can't give me a 10 out of 10? Well, what are you going to give me then, Zoe? Probably like a 7 out of 10. You know what? I'll still take a 7 out of 10. That is pretty good. And I doubt your build's even going to be close to mine. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Come over and check it out. Let's see what you end up having built. And whoa, Zoe, this is honestly super cool. Thanks, Dax. I told you I've been practicing my building skills. Yeah, I can tell. You did a really good job. I can't believe you built this in only five minutes. Yep, it's super cool. I'm like the best. And uh, wait a second, Zoe. Why is there a button over here? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember putting that. Let's go ahead and push it and see what happens. And uh, wait a second, Zoe. What is that noise? I don't know. This can't be good. Uh, this sounds a little bit weird. I think I'm just gonna back up a bit, Zoe. Why are you running, Dex? Uh, because I think something's about to come from the sky, and oh my gosh, look at that, Zoe! What the heck? My build is being destroyed. Zoe, you just completely destroyed your whole build. What is wrong with you? That was insane. What did the Titan Speaker Man do? Uh, well, Zoe, now it looks like you don't even have a build, so I'm gonna have to give you a zero out of ten for this round. No, Dex, you saw it before it exploded. You saw that it was really good. Uh, well, I mean, I don't see it now, so I can't really give you a score. Sorry, Zoe. It looks like I win the build challenge. The heck? This is so not fair. Today, we're building the best roller coasters in Minecraft. Whoa, that is so exciting. I love roller coasters. Okay, Zoe, what side do you want to build on? The awesome green side or that ugly purple side? Dax, I don't even know why you ask me. You know I'm going to choose the purple side because purple is my favorite color. Okay, whatever, Zoe. Well, you're going to have 15 minutes to make your roller coaster. Best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys, I'm actually not going to be building this roller coaster by myself. Secretly for this roller coaster, I actually hired the TV woman. But the first thing I need to do is build out a little TV head. So let's go ahead and get a few things so we can summon her in. I'll just start making the floor like this. And then we have to start going up pretty high. And perfect. I think this actually looks pretty good. Now, if I go ahead and walk inside, the TV woman should be inside there to help me. And oh my gosh, guys, look perfect. It's the TV woman right there. Hi, Dax. What are we doing today? Today, we're doing a roller coaster build challenge. And I need your professional building help to help me make one. Ooh, this should be super interesting. What type of roller coaster are we building? Well, let's see. I think the first thing we need to do is build one out of like lime green since lime green is like the best color ever, right? That is a super cool color. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get a few different railings and I'll get a minecart so we can start building this out. And I think I want the first part of this to be like a basic uppy part. Um, Dax, what is an uppy part? Oh, basically it's just gonna go really, really high off the start. So let's go ahead and get a few powered rails like this and then we'll angle it out this way. And then we're gonna have a really, really cool part that's gonna scare Zoe at the very start. Wow, that looks super good. I don't even know if you're going to need my help. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need your help because you have way better ideas than me. So once we get to the challenges, I'm gonna need a lot of your help. Okay, Dax. Just let me know when you need me. Okay, let's just go a little bit higher. And I think this is looking pretty good. What do you think, TV woman? This looks super scary. Zoe's definitely going to get scared. But we're going to need something for our first trap. What's probably the first thing we should add in? Why don't we have a big lava room with minecart parkour? Oh my gosh, it's actually a super good idea. Okay, well, the first thing I should probably do is finish out this railing. So let me go back here and add in a few normal rails and more powered rails. And then we can get to building that minecart parkour you were talking about. That was honestly such a good idea. How did you even think about that? I'm just super smart. All right, well, let me go ahead and build this going up a little higher and add in a few blocks of redstone so we can get all the way up here. And once we are finally up here, we can build that little lava area. So the first thing we need to do is add in a big platform that so we can just start on something like this. But then I actually have to build out a really, really big room, which is going to take a second. So let me go ahead and place a few blocks down here. And let's see, it has to be super even. Everything has to be even. If it's not even, I'm going to cry. So let's add in something like this this and then i'll surround it back this direction and then basically we have to duplicate this really really far okay now that we have this big root built out all i have to do is add in some lava to the floor like this and now the whole floor is made out of lava what we need to do is put some live concrete blocks like this with some railing on it and then we'll put a bike cart on top and basically she'll just do parkour throughout all of these in order to make it to the very exit wow dax this is exactly how i envisioned it yeah and this is going to be super super challenging for us so let me go ahead and add a few rails like this and i'll build it out in this direction and man i really doubt so we can beat this the first try but if she does she honestly deserves to move on yeah but she's not very good at parkour okay now that all of this is built out let me go ahead and test it i just have to jump from here and then jump to this one here and then to this one and man this is honestly pretty difficult even though i'm super good at parkour that was really really challenging but after she gets done with this we can build the next section of our roller coaster Okay, once she gets to this part over here, we're gonna have a little bit of a drop because you know, every good roller coaster has a nice scary drop on it. So let's go ahead and build it down in this direction like this. And then it's gonna go straight for a little bit. And I also wanna add in a few different bumps just so Zoe gets scared that there's something big coming up. Okay, let's go ahead and head back and then we can add in all the railing like this. And man, we're only gonna use power rail basically because I want this roller coaster to be as fast as possible. Okay, this does look pretty good, but what's probably the next type of challenge we should even add in for Zoe? Ooh, why don't you do a room that has two different choices in it? Wait, a room that has two different choices. I mean, I guess that could be pretty cool. What do you have in mind? Let me build out the main room first. And uh, TV one, why do you make this all out of iron blocks? You know, I want to make everything out of lime green. Because we're going to make one side purple and one side green. And then Zoe's going to have to pick one side. Oh, wait, that's actually such a good idea. Okay, let me go ahead and get some purple concrete, which we're pretty sure Zoe's going to pick this side since purple is her favorite color, right? Probably. So the first side we're actually going to give her is going to be that purple side. So let's go ahead and build her a big room. And of course, the right side is actually going to be the green side. So we have to make the purple side as scary as possible. Let's go ahead and extend it out this direction. And then I'll make it super, super tall. And probably what I should also do is add like a drop in here. So that way, once Zoe falls inside of here, there's no way she can get back up. Okay, let's go ahead and add a bit of railing to go inside of here. And of course, we'll end it off with a few of these powered wheels. That way, she just goes in super, super fast. And how about we change all this floor to be like nether thin? Because we want it to be as creepy as possible. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, what we need to do is add in a few pieces of these railing in here. And we're going to make this side super, super slow. Because I want Zoe to be creeped out as she goes in this whole thing. We'll also go ahead and add in a bit of lava just to make it extra extra creepy and perfect i think it looks pretty good but we should probably change up this entrance a little bit just that way she doesn't know what's actually behind there we'll add a bike cart right in there that she could go in and then now we can build out the green side which is obviously going to be the way better side so let's go ahead and extend this green room to be all the way back to where it originally was we'll do the same thing by covering up the entrance just to make both sides seem pretty much the same but once she's inside of this room it's going to be a lot more fun let's go ahead and set all of this ground in here into grass and then we'll even add in a few different nice trees like this and we'll smack some bone meal on the ground ground just to make it look nice and friendly of course this wall is all going to be roller coaster so let's add in some basic railing with a few different powered rails and then we're just going to have the exit go out all the way over here and of course when zoe finishes this side here she's going to be able to get out so let's go ahead and build that part in and both of them will just meet right here in the middle and let's go ahead and look at this side again and we should probably add in a few more things like maybe a couple water spouts like this and yeah that gives it a lot of color let's go ahead and add in one more like this and we'll make this one too wide and perfect just like that i think our purple side and our green side both look 
really good. One is definitely super, super scary, and the other one looks a lot more calm and better. But now we're gonna have to build out another part. So let's go ahead and break this part out here, and then we're gonna go ahead and make this go up again since I want the roller coaster to go super, super high. Let's go ahead and turn it out in this direction, something like this, and then we'll keep going a bit higher. Zoe is gonna be so scared while she's on this roller coaster. I actually kind of want to make it curve in this direction, and then we're even gonna have it drop off a little bit like this, and then we're just gonna have it go under this part right here. And I think around here is we can build out our next challenge. But the first thing we should probably do is add in a bunch of railings since there's practically none of it. And perfect. All of this railing is basically done over here, and it looks super, super good. But what's probably the next type of challenge we should build out, TV Woman? Oh, why don't you build a find the button room? Oh, wait, a find the button room would be a great idea. Okay, how about I go ahead and use some more of these iron blocks like you used earlier, and I make the room kind of small, but also kind of big, so there can be a lot of buttons inside of it. Okay, and then inside of here, we're going to get some buttons, but secretly, we're going to get this one thing called a secret button. So first off, let's go ahead and put a bunch of oak buttons in here, and we're going to tell Zoe that she's going to have to find the hidden one, but none of these are actually going to be the right one. What she's going to have to do is hit this secret button right here that now looks like an iron block, and what it's going to do is open up a secret trap door just like this. Okay, let's go ahead and click it and perfect that looks super super good this is definitely gonna take zoe a while to find but once she gets through that we'll have another little course down here so let's start adding it a few different iron blocks so we can build up the next part and actually why am i making that an iron block let's go ahead and go back to green since green is the best color ever next let's go ahead and build a little straight shot of a bunch of roller coaster rails but on the edges i want to put a bunch of lava to scare zoe with so we'll go ahead and build it out like that and then over here is where we're actually gonna have to build on those lava containers okay and perfect now that this is built out we can go ahead and get ourselves a bit of lava that we could add to the sides just like this it is gonna be super super scary for zoe man this is probably gonna be the scariest part of the roller coaster and if you agree with me go ahead and comment hashtag scary let's confuse everyone that hasn't made it this far yet but man after this little scary part i don't even know what the next thing we should build for zoe is hey why don't you do a question room oh wait a question room would actually be so much fun okay let's go ahead and make one of these with iron blocks again and then let's make this like four blocks wide okay so inside of here we're gonna put a little question in the middle on each side we're gonna have a different exit that Zoe could possibly go in. Our first question is going to be what color is better? And on one side, we're going to go ahead and put green, which is the obvious right answer. But on the other side, we're going to go ahead and put purple, which is not the right answer, guys. So in order for these to be actual choices, what we need to do is add in a few signs here and then put some paintings down. And now if Zoe goes ahead and walks to the purple side, what we're going to do is make out a little floor piece just so she falls all the way down to the floor. But if she ends up picking the green side, she can obviously just walk on to the next question. Now let's go ahead and ask her another question. And I think for this one, I want to see what she thinks is better between a frog or a rabbit and obviously i know that frogs are better since i have a little frog on my head but zoe has like rabbit stuff so i think she's probably gonna pick the rabbit on this side over here we'll put in frog and then on this side over here we'll put in rabbit now of course if she picks rabbit she's just gonna fall all the way back down straight to the floor but if she picks the right answer frog she can just move on to her final question and our final question is gonna be are you subbed and guys if you are subscribed i honestly don't know what you're doing so on one side we're gonna go ahead and put in yes which is the obvious right answer but for the other side we're not even gonna put in anything because no one should not be subscribed let's go ahead and break out the wall here and then we'll add in the paintings like normal like that and then yeah you can't even go through this side because that's obviously not the right answer and then once zoe gets through this we're actually gonna have a really cool purple one which is gonna be her victory room so let's go ahead and break apart this wall here and inside of here we're gonna have a chest that has a bunch of purple candy inside and we'll even put a bunch of random purple blocks in here just to make zoe really happy and perfect just like that i think our roller coaster side is done but we're gonna have to check on zoe and tv woman you're gonna have to hide otherwise zoe's gonna get really really bad okay sounds good okay zoe well my side of the roller coaster is basically done are you ready to check on each other's build yep i'm practically done Okay, how about I check out your side first since I'm super curious to see what you did. Okay, come on over. Okay, Zoe, I am super excited to see your roller coaster. Okay, are you ready to see the best roller coaster of all time? Let's see, I'm so excited. Come on over. Let's see it. Whoa, Zoe, this is pretty cool. Yep, it's like the best definitely my most magnificent masterpiece okay and this one says the zoe coaster and it looks like you have a few different roller coasters over here you built multiple yep i had plenty of time i'm sure that you're pretty jealous of my build honestly i am pretty jealous this is super cool okay let me go ahead and open this chest because i'm sure there's my car theater and it, yeah perfect there's some my carts and now can i go ahead and ride this first one yep you sure can okay let's go ahead and hop on it and whoa this looks like a super big incline this is actually kind of scary wow i bet dax is so scared right now and uh wait was that all and wait am i going backwards yep you go back and forth and back and forth uh zoe i don't go forth anymore i kind of just went back and then stopped but i guess that was pretty cool yep wasn't that super fun that was pretty cool but are the roller coasters supposed to get better and better yep 
go ahead and try the next one. Okay, and wait, does this one have a name at all, Zoe? It's Zoe Coaster number two. Okay, Zoe Coaster number two. That is a pretty cool name. Let me go ahead and put my buy cart down and let's see. And whoa, this one's going up a little high too. I'm actually kind of scared. And whoa, I'm dropping from the sky. Whoa. Zoe, I don't think a roller coaster works. Jax, you just got to push your mine cart a little bit. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and push it back this way like that. And uh, you know, I think it's stuck. Why don't I just bring out this block here and then I go ahead and try that again. Perfect, try it again. I don't think your coaster is very safe, Zoe. I almost like crashed completely. You'll be fine, Dex. Okay, let's see about this one. And whoa, look, I made it inside. And wow, I made it to the end. And wait the heck, Zoe, I fell in the void. You fell in the void? Isn't that awesome? No, it's not awesome, Zoe. I'm taking so much damage. Zoe, what the heck? I can't believe you just made me fall into the void. That's so messed up. Well, Dex, it's an extreme coaster. It's supposed to make you feel scared. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. And I see there's like one more coaster over here. Is that right? Yep, do it if you dare. What the heck? This one looks so high. I can barely even see the top. It's going to be super fun for you, Dax. I'm so excited for you. Oh, gosh. Let's see, Zoe. You know I'm scared of heights. What in the world? I am literally going up so high right now. I can see, like, everything in the world. Are you having fun? I don't know. I'm so scared. And what the heck? Wait, I think I'm going to fall. And oh, my gosh. I'm dropping from the sky. And uh, wait a second, Zoe. Is there water down here? Yep. Now you're going for a little swim. What the heck? You're insane, Zoe. What type of roller coaster is that? Wasn't it super fun? I mean, it was kind of fun, but why the heck would you make me fall from something that high? Because it's scary. Okay, it definitely was scary. You know, it's like you did an excellent job with your roller coaster. Thanks, Dax. But now it's time to check out the super awesome ultimate Dax coaster. So let's go to my side. Let's do it. Welcome over to my super awesome roller coaster. Whoa, is this the TV woman's head? Uh, no, Zoe, it's just a little building I made. But isn't this side pretty cool? Yeah, it's super cool. Okay, let me go ahead and get you one of these railings so you can start the coaster. Let me just put it down there and then I'll put you a my cart down and now you can hop in and ride the roller coaster. Let's do this. This is gonna be so much fun. And there you go, Zoe. Whoa. Whee, this thing is super fast. Oh no. What is this? This is your first challenge. You know what? Let me go ahead and reset the cars a little bit so it's a bit easier for you, but you're gonna have to do some my cart parkour. This is not good. All you're gonna have to do is just jump in them like that and then hop out and then go ahead and jump over to the next one. This should be pretty easy, Zoe. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Let's see what you can do. Go ahead and start. Oh, man. I got to jump all the way over there. Yeah, but all you have to do is click on the mine cart so you can hop inside. So it really shouldn't be that hard. I'm so glad that you believe in me, Dex. Come on. And whoa, you're actually doing pretty good from the start. Thanks, Dex. I've been practicing my parkour. Okay, this is the hardest jump, Zoe. So please be careful. Oh, my gosh. My heart is beating so fast, Dex. You can do this. It's only like five blocks away. And whoa, look, you actually made it. And oh, I just knocked it off for you. Let me put another one down for you. I was about to say, that's cheating, Dex. And there you go. There is your your final jump and all you have to do is just jump over you can definitely make that oh you say so but i'm really not gonna parkour and perfect zoe now you can go ahead and use this my cart to go on to your next part and oh gosh zoe hop in the my cart dex why are they falling so fast because ah! you're too slow and whoa look this is your next part of the coaster wow this is going super fast and whoa traffic jam oh wait so you're going backwards hop out before you fall in the lava no not the lava no <laughs> Oh my gosh, Zoe, what in the world is wrong with you? Dex, I died. I wasn't supposed to die from your roller coaster. Well, Zoe, this is an extreme roller coaster. You have to be safe, but this next part is actually a big challenge. Okay, what's the challenge? You can either pick the green side or you can pick the purple side. Which side do you want to go on? Ooh, purple. All right, Zoe. Well, let me know what you think about the purple side when you get in there, Zoe. So far, it's pretty dark. Well, all you have to do is move forward and then you can go through. I'm not going very fast. Ah, going super fast now. This is super scary. Why is there lava? Uh, because this is the wrong side, Zoe. What? Purple's always the right side. No, Zoe, purple's always the wrong side. What are you talking about? Okay, then I guess I'll go on the gross green side if that's the answer. Well, I mean, you already made it through the purple side, but look, this is the nice, awesome green side. Isn't it so much better? Wow, that was super pretty. Okay, well, since you already kind of went through the whole thing, and I guess you kind of picked both sides randomly, I guess you can just move on. Yay, moving on. Okay, Zoe, here's your my cart, and now you can hop on, and you can continue the awesome roller coaster. Sweet, thanks. Okay, Zoe, this is a super high incline, so have fun. This is super high. I don't really like heights. Yeah, but it's super fast, so it goes by really fast. Wow, now we're going downhill. Whoa, what is this room? This next room is called Find the Button, and you're going to have to find the hidden button in order to move on. Ooh, I love pushing buttons. Let me just give you a little bit of a hint, Zoe. The actual button is kind of hidden. Seriously? What's the point of having all these buttons out in the open if it's not the right button? Well, that's because you have to find that hidden button, Zoe. It's called a hidden button room. Whatever, Dax. I'm just going to keep pushing these buttons. Zoe, you are getting super close. What the heck? 
And look, there you go. You found the hidden button. Now you can just drop through. Whoa, Dex, is this lava? Yes, this is a bunch of ultra scary lava. This is super scary. How am I going to get through without getting burned? Well, I guess you're going to have to figure that out. Let me just throw you a bike cart right here, Zoe, and then you can hop inside and I'll push you through. Wow, thanks, Dex. You're making this a lot easier. And there you go. Uh, trying not to get burned. And look, you made it through all safe and sound, Zoe. Wasn't that pretty easy? That was super easy, but... What is this room? What color is better, green or purple? Well, duh, the answer's purple. Oh, Zoe, what in the world are you doing? Dang it, I fell. Dax, why do you keep checking me? Zoe, you know purple is not the right answer. Why would I ever let you pick that disgusting color? Because it's my favorite. Well, Zoe, just because it's your favorite doesn't mean it's right. Go ahead and pick the actual right answer, which is super obvious. Okay, I'll go through the gross green door. And perfect, you made it through. Now you're on to your second question. What's better, rabbit or frogs? Well, it's obviously rabbit because that's what my hat is. Oh, Zoe, that is absolutely incorrect. No one likes rabbits. Everyone likes rabbits. Zoe, we all know that frogs are just infinitely better than rabbits. Yeah, I really don't think so. These questions are kind of biased. Uh, no, these are like the perfect question. They came from like the smartest place ever. And then final question, are you subbed? Yes. And perfect, Zoe, now that you made it through, you're onto your championship room. This is awesome. This room is perfect for me. It's so purple. Yep, you deserve it for winning. And look inside this chest, I even gave you a bunch of awesome candy. Purple candy? How tasty. Today, me and my girlfriend are building giant mazes in Minecraft. Wow, that's going to be so much fun. And guys, what my girlfriend doesn't know is I'm going to be hiring this speaker woman to help me build the whole thing. Wait, what'd you say, Dax? Oh, uh, I said you're going to have 15 minutes to make your maze, Zoe. Best of luck. Well, you're going down, Dax. Best of luck. Okay, guys, and like I just said, I'm going to be hiring this speaker woman to help me build this entire thing. And as you can see, I have this huge speaker woman head over there, and once I walk inside, I can just ask her if she wants to help me out. And here we go, and oh my gosh, guys, look, it's the speaker woman right Right there. Hi, speaker woman. Hi, Dax. I heard you needed my help today. Yes, I need help with a challenge, and I'm building a secret huge maze against my girlfriend, Zoe, and I heard you're like the best builder ever, so can you please help me out? Yes, I think I can help you out with that. Oh, perfect. Okay, come outside, and we're gonna start building the maze over here. Okay, speaker woman, the first thing we should probably do is make like the walls of our maze, right? Yeah, that's a good place to start. So let me go ahead and start building up some walls like this, and then I'll click on the top of it over here, and I'll bring it all the way to this side, because we want a giant maze, and that'll make all the walls out of diamond blocks. And and then once we have that, we can set all the Florida diamond blocks. And oh my gosh, speaker woman, look at this. We're so rich. You are super rich, Dax. This is awesome. Well, now that we have this huge diamond maze built out, what's the first thing we should actually add in, speaker woman? The first thing we should do is add a fake entrance. Wait, a fake entrance is such a good idea. Okay, how about we go over here to like the front of it? And maybe we should make it out of purple since that's Zoe's favorite color. Yeah, she'll definitely be tricked by that. Okay, so what we're going to do is make out this little hallway right here. And then somewhere in the middle is we're going to add a little lava trap. What? Well, how are you going to make the lava trap? Well, in order to make the lava trap, we're going to need a bucket of lava, obviously. And then we're also going to get something called a sticky piston. That way we can make the sticky pistons pull back whenever Zoe tries to walk on it. That's going to be so funny. Okay, so let's go ahead and break out these diamond blocks here. And then I'll add in these sticky pistons on this side. And then I'll do the same the exact thing for the other side. And of course, like I said, this is going to be a lava trap. So let's go ahead and add some lava into the floor where Zoe's going to fall. Now we can go ahead and replace these blocks back with diamond blocks just like this. And then of course, we're going to have to get some pressure plates to let me line sub right there. And then finally, we're going to have to run all the redstone. So let me connect it to all these pistons back here. And then finally, we'll throw in a redstone torch here. And then we'll add in the redstone. And perfect. Look at that. It already connected. That looks awesome. Okay, now that we have that part done, let me go ahead and get some more redstone so I can run it back to this side over here. And then we should be good to go with our little contraption. Okay, now it is all set up. As soon as Zoe steps on these, she's just going to fall straight into the lava. And she's immediately going to fail the maze. This is like the best fake entrance ever, but I think you should make the front of it purple, so she definitely falls for it. Oh, yeah. I think I said I was going to make it out of purple earlier. I don't know why I completely forgot about that. Let me grab some purple wool, and I'll get some purple concrete, and I guess we can just line up all this inside to be out of purple. Let's go ahead and break out the grass here, and then I'll build in a little entrance out of purple like this. You know what? We might as well replace all the walls in the floor with purple, right? She's going to love that. And perfect. Now this is all made out of purple. What she steps on, though, she's going to fall through, but we should also probably add in a corner over here so that she thinks there's more to the maze than just the fake entrance. Probably so. That'll definitely fake her out. Okay, let me just stack up the walls a little bit. And once we're done with this, we should probably build out the real entrance, right, Speaker Woman? Yes, we should definitely start doing that soon. Okay, now, like we said, it's time to build the real entrance. And I feel like we should probably place it on the complete 
opposite side of the maze. I think that's a great idea. And of course, since my favorite color is green, unlike that ugly purple color, we're going to make the real entrance out of green, so she has to go inside of it. She's going to be so mad. Okay, let's go ahead and throw out a few pieces of lime concrete, and then we'll also throw out a few sticky pistons like this. And in order for Zoe to get into this, she's going to have to solve a super complicated math problem. What's the math problem? Well, the first thing we need to do is put out a sign here. That way she knows it's the actual entrance, and then we can build a math question over here. So at the top of this, we're going to put in the math equation, and we're just going to do one plus one, which is a super, super complicated math problem. That is super hard. I don't know if she's going to get that. I really doubt it, but now we can put in all the answers. So at the front, we're going to put in one, and then we're going to put in two, which is going to be the actual right answer. And at the very end, we're just going to put in zero. Above all of our answers, let's go ahead and throw in a little button like this. But now we're actually going to need to route the redstone signal. So let me go ahead and get some redstone dust. Okay, so now if we press one, it obviously doesn't work. Same with zero. But if we press the right answer, which is two, our secret door will open up and then Zoe can just walk right through. Wow, Dex, you are such a great builder. But now we need to build the next part of our maze, which is going to be a giant twist. A giant twist? How are you going to do that? So basically, we're going to make a whole maze inside of here, but there's going to be no real way out. That sounds super cool. But how is she supposed to defeat the maze if she can't get out? Oh, but look at this speaker wall. But what I'm going to do is have a secret door right here. And as you can see, it looks just like diamond blocks, right? Yeah, it looks just like diamond blocks. But if you go ahead and click on it, it opens like an actual door. Wow, she's totally going to get faked out by that. Exactly. So we're going to have like a whole huge maze that she's going to have to wander through. But the real exit is going to be right here at the front. And she's going to be so angry. She is going to be super angry. Okay, let's go ahead and build a, a few different routes where this maze can go. And I don't want to make it too long, but I want to make it long enough that she'll get annoyed from. Let's go ahead and wrap it around like this. And then I'll wrap it a few more times. And then I think it's basically good to go. Let's go ahead and make everything like three blocks taller like that and perfect. But at the end of this, we should probably have a little sign just to make her a bit mad. What do you think, speaker woman? I think that's a great idea. Okay, let's grab a sign and say you got pranked. And this is basically going to be she's going to have to go all the way back and try to find a different way out. She is going to be so mad when she sees that. And like I said earlier, over here is where we're going to throw that secret door. So let's go ahead and throw it down just like this and perfect. Once she finds that, she can actually go through. Wow, that is so cool. And actually, speaking of her maze, I haven't checked up on Zoe in a minute. Maybe I should go ahead and see how her maze is coming along. Hey, Zoe, how's your maze coming along over there? It's coming amazing. It's almost done and you are so going down. What? There's no way, Zoe. We all know that my maze is going to be like a trillion times better than yours. I don't know, Dax. My maze looks pretty good. All right. Well, you still have like 10 minutes, so you better start wrapping it up. Okay, Dax, whatever you say. Okay. Well, now that we have that hidden room done, Speaker Woman, let's go ahead and build another little room over here, except this is going to have a hidden button inside. A hidden button? And what happens if you push the button? So basically, she's going to have to find the hidden button, and once she hits it, another door is going to open up over here. Wow, that is so tricky. Okay. So I put a little hidden button right about here, and then next to it, we're going to add in these secret redstone blocks, which basically look like normal diamond blocks, but they act as redstone. So if I go ahead and hit this hidden button here, the door will instantly open up. And look at that. That's such a perfect little exit. That is a good exit. But Zoe's going to have to be super, super fast because it does close really fast. So hopefully she can get through it. Okay. And now we actually have a really big area for this next part. And I'm thinking for this, we give Zoe a little bit of lava parkour. Lava parkour? She's not very good at that. Yeah, she is really, really bad at lava parkour. So let me go ahead and make these walls like super, super tall. Okay, now that we have this little part done, let's go ahead and select the floor all the way over here. And then we'll just set it all the lava, which is going to be what she has to jump over if she wants to complete this section. Whoa, that's going to be insane. Okay, and all these jumps are going to be made out of gold blocks. So let me go ahead and add in a few basic jumps that Zoe can do, but it's going to get a lot harder as the parkour goes on. And like we all know, Zoe is really, really bad at parkour. So she is definitely going to struggle with this. Let's go ahead and add on a little ladder jump so she has to get really high up in the air and then I can go ahead and build a jump in this direction that she's gonna have to go on. We'll make it bend out in this direction. And I also want to add a little iron bar parkour section, which is really, really difficult to get across because it's super, super thin. So let's go ahead and add it going in this direction over here. And then I'll add some more gold blocks and then I'll add some ladder parkour. And this is already looking so perfect. Over here in the corner is where her exit's gonna be at. So let me go ahead and put down a few different slime blocks like this. And she's gonna have to climb on top of this ladder here, jump on the slime blocks and then land 
in on a singular block in order to move through. Let's go ahead and test out this little jump and perfect. She can actually make it through right there. Okay, now when Zoe gets to that parkour, what do you think we make her a little like multicolor challenge room? A multicolor challenge room? What is that? Basically, we're going to have a few different options of different doors that she can go by. And there's actually only going to be one right answer. So she's going to have to struggle to figure out which one's the right one. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, I think the first one we're actually going to make is going to be a nice gold entrance. And she's really, really attracted to gold since it's super shiny. So let's go ahead and build this out. But obviously, this is going to be a fake one. Let's start adding in a few walls. And I wanted to twist out in this direction because there's going to be another hallway over here that she's going to have to go down. But like I said, this is the fake entrance. So of course, she's not really going to get anywhere here. Let's go ahead and bring out the floor right about here. Actually, we'll continue this a little bit more. That way, she actually keeps running forward. But right over here is where it's going to get dangerous. What we're going to do is add in a few different ghost blocks. And if you don't know what these do, you actually just fall straight through them. So they're super, super deadly for traps. And now at the bottom of this is where we're going to add in a bit of lava that Zoe will just fall into. Wow, Dax, I really like that. You are super good at building mazes. Yeah, I think that is a super, super good trap. But of course, I need to make these walls a little bit taller because we don't want it to be one block tall. So let's go ahead and select over here and select over here. And then I can stack them like three blocks up, which looks really good. That does look super good. Okay, now that our gold entrance is basically done, let's go ahead and build one, but out of purple. That'll be really cool. It'll definitely trick Zoe, right? Yes, that's definitely gonna trick her. She loves purple. And for this, we're basically gonna build her out like a little tidy maze that she's gonna have to go through. But at the end is where she's gonna see that this is actually the wrong way to go because no one wants to pick purple. And like I said, at the end of this, we're gonna put in a little sign that just says wrong way. So that way, once she walks all the way down here in this little tiny maze, she's gonna be super, super mad when she realizes that purple was obviously the wrong way to go. Yeah, she's definitely not going to be happy. Okay, but the final one is obviously gonna be green since that's my favorite color and it's gonna be the right way to go. So let's go ahead and build a little green room that she can get out of. And at the end of this is where her next challenge is gonna be, which is actually gonna be an archery challenge. Whoa, an archery challenge? What is that going to be all about? So basically, we're going to build her a little platform over here, and she's going to have to shoot a bunch of different targets if she wants to be able to move through. That should be pretty easy for Zoe. She's pretty good at archery. Yeah, she's pretty decent, but I'm going to make it super difficult. How are you going to do that? But once we add the fences, what we're actually going to do is get a little bit of railing that she's going to have to ride on in order to shoot everything. So she's going to have to ride around on a bike car while she tries to shoot a bow and arrow. Whoa, that is going to be hard. So let me go ahead and place down some redstone blocks like this, so that way the power rail can actually actually work and this looks pretty good to go but now we can go ahead and add in those targets and secretly one of these targets is going to be the right one and what we're going to be doing is making this target all the way up here the right one that will actually open the iron door at the end okay perfect and as soon as she hits this target up here this iron door will open which will lead her to her next challenge and what's the next challenge going to be well the next part of our maze is going to be an underwater maze an underwater maze that sounds awesome yep and it's going to be super super dangerous for zoe to guide get through but of course we're going to be using a bunch of diamond blocks since they look really close to water and now what we could do is start building in a little course and i'm actually going to make the entrance right over here and it should be pretty easy to build out since it only has to be one block tall let's go ahead and add in a bunch of different turns and twists and of course at the end of this i'm also going to add in some fake pathways that zoe can fall into and right over here is where we're going to call the exit so let me go ahead and mark this by putting in some blue stained glass but now we need to add in all that water so let me go ahead and place this blue stained glass above all of where the water is going to be at and perfect now i went ahead and filled in all of this with a bunch of water and the way she gets in is by using this trap door here and like i said of course she's gonna have to swim through all of this which is gonna be extremely difficult wow that looks super crazy i don't know if she's gonna be able to do that okay now once we're done with this we're gonna have one final room that zoe is gonna have to complete before she's done with our entire maze what's this final room gonna be this is gonna be a big boss fight where she's gonna have to fight a bunch of different skibbity characters wow are you gonna supply her with any armor uh yeah i'll probably give her like some iron armor what do you think? I don't know. Iron armor is a little too good. I think Zoe should get some leather armor. Okay, I'll go ahead and give her leather armor. Since leather armor is actually pretty, pretty weak, she's definitely going to struggle with this. So right here, I'll add in a big door that she's going to have to open in order to get through. And on the other side is where our skibbity characters are going to be. So let me go ahead and iron a couple iron trap doors right here with a few different pressure plates that she's going to have to step on. And then like we said, we're going to give her a bit of armor. So I'll go ahead and grab an armor stand and give her a couple things of leather armor that she could use. But in order to actually be nice i'm gonna go ahead and give her another right sword since those are pretty strong and you know what i also give her a chest with a few different golden apples because this is gonna be really really difficult wow that's super nice of you dex now once Zoe steps on those pressure plates and come through she's gonna have to fight a bunch of different buzz toilets and these guys are extremely strong so she's probably gonna lose whoa those guys are super deadly i don't know if zoe's gonna be able to do that but if she does end up defeating them 
all we're gonna have a door that she could go through which is gonna be her prize room that we're gonna make all out of purple and of course inside of here i'll throw in a chest with a bunch of purple candy so she'll be super happy she ends up beating this uh i hope she gets to this part we'll add an iron door in there that way she can't actually just get through and i think our maze is actually looking pretty good what do you think speaker woman i think this maze turned out super awesome okay speaker woman now that we're completely done with our maze you go ahead and hide back in the speaker head because zoe cannot see you okay i'll hurry thank you so much for your help you're welcome okay guys and now that that's completely done let's go ahead and see if zoe's done with her stuff hey zoe how's your maze coming over there it's practically done and let me just say it looks amazing i really doubt it's gonna be anywhere near as good as mine but can i come over and check your sign out pretty please yep come check it out okay zoe let's go ahead and check out how cool your maze came out and zoe why did you make your maze out of dirt Ta -da! doesn't it look amazing i mean it looks like a really big maze but once again why in the world did you make it out of dirt because dirt is like super super strong and it's like one of the prettiest blocks ever uh i mean okay i guess it is kind of pretty and kind of cool but i mean there's a lot of dirt everywhere i didn't expect you to use dirt but zoe where do i start your awesome maze at you'll just have to figure that out well i mean i do see some doors right here so i'm pretty sure this is the entrance and this is a really really easy entrance Zoe, you probably should have made it hidden or something well dax why would i want to trick you okay yeah fair enough let's just go around and look and see and man we're already starting in a big maze oh i hate this so much dax that's the whole point of the challenge yeah i guess you're right Zoe. but man this really sucks and wait Zoe, look there's a dead end over here whoa what a trick are you surprised wait do you have some type of like hidden door or something oh Zoe, there's lava down here oh no dax it looks like you died Zoe, what in the world that was so messed up man did you have like ghost blocks there or something yep and it totally worked i so got you okay you definitely did get me that was super good but Zoe, if that's the fake entrance where's the real entrance at dax you have to find it i'm not gonna tell you let's see is there something on the roof over here it wait what is this bluish thing right here this looks like a trap door what am i supposed to do with this you'll just have to figure it out i guess wait what and i see a bunch of lava down there wait a second if i go under the trap door like this and then press it i should be able to swim in whoa look at that i got inside zoe good job dex but wait what in the world is this next room there's a bunch of lava here but zoe there's no way to get across maybe there's something around here that can help you get across maybe there's something around here wait i don't even see anything and wait a second why is there an invisible blue block right here what are you talking about let me just see it looks like there's a block here but nothing's there hmm i'm a little scared if i mess up i'm gonna fall in the lava but i guess i can try it out let me just go ahead and get a running start and oh my gosh look i landed on an invisible block Wow, you found the first block. That's awesome. Wait, that must mean there's a bunch more invisible blocks. And yes, look, there's another one over there. Let me try and jump to it. And whoa, Zoe, this is actually super, super scary. You're doing a great job, Dax. Okay, it looks like there's one more in front of me there. And there's another one over here. Look at this. I'm on a roll now. Good job. You're doing super awesome. Okay, let me keep jumping. I'm so close to the exit. And one more here. And perfect. I made it through it. Why are there a bunch of paintings here? This room is super special. And you have to figure out a way to get out of it. A way to get out? Oh, there must be like something behind behind the paintings let me go ahead and run through all of them and see if i can find it let me go ahead and keep running and man wait i haven't found the painting yet what in the world is this zoe this is so rigged it's not rigged dax there's a way to get out you just have to find it oh my gosh i ran through all the paintings and i didn't see anything and wait a second why is this block all colored differently over here i don't know maybe you should go inspect it wait zoe did you add in a hidden trap door and oh my gosh yes you did haha -ha, you found it awesome dax okay that was honestly pretty creative zoe that was super super cool i like that one thanks and wait looks like i'm inside another maze oh my gosh i hate mazes so much zoe why are we even building these things so i can prove that i'm a better maze builder than you dax duh well you're definitely not the better maze builder you just wait until you check out my side zoe oh my gosh there are so many corners i keep running into all these different blocks what in the world am i even gonna get out of here yeah i don't know if you're making any progress come on the exit has to be here somewhere it whoa look it looks like i made it to the next room good job dax you made it through my super hard maze and zoe why are there purple blocks here what in the world is this ugly color doing here because it's lava of parkour and purple's the best color ever oh my gosh okay i'm really really good at parkour as you saw earlier so i bet i could beat this on the first try yeah i think you're probably gonna fall no way zoe watch this i can even do a 360 because i'm so confident yeah that was more like a 180 what that was a whole 360 but i'm killing your course away this is too easy you are going super duper fast you're really skilled here we go i'm almost to the end and perfect and wait are these fans yep they sure are uh okay let's see where this takes me and oh my gosh i'm so high in the air Whee! that's so fun and oh thank goodness there was water here i would have broken my legs but wait what is this there's a bunch of diamond blocks here go ahead and take a look inside the chest and whoa there are even more diamond blocks in here what the heck does this mean i beat your course yep you won this is awesome let's go that was such a fun course zoe thanks Dax. i tried super hard but honestly i think you're gonna like my course a teensy bit better than this one really i 
I don't know if I believe that, but you'll just have to show me so we can see. Okay, Zoe, let's go check it out. Okay, Zoe, welcome to my awesome side of the maze. Wow, is this entirely made out of diamonds? Uh, yeah, of course it's made out of diamonds because I'm super, super rich. You are super rich. This is so pretty. And look, a purple entrance. Uh, yeah, I made this purple entrance for you. Why don't you just go inside and uh, go look what it looks like? Wow, this is so pretty. And thank you so much for making this purple for me. Dex, what the heck? I fell into lava. Haha, <laughs> Zoe, you just fell for the fake entrance. That was totally not cool. Well, Zoe, if that was the fake entrance, obviously you have to find the real entrance. Really, Dex? You made a fake entrance? That is so not fair. What do you mean? You literally did the same exact thing, Zoe. Whatever. What is this over here? Is that the speaker woman's head? Oh, yeah, that is the speaker woman's head. I just uh, decided to build it because I thought it looked really nice on the side. What do you think? You had enough time to build the speaker woman's head? Oh, yeah, I did. And oh, thank goodness she left. Gosh, she's not in here anymore. Yeah, I had plenty of time, Zoe, because you were taking so long. Hmm, that seems super strange, but okay. I think I'm getting closer to this real entrance. Yes, you are, Zoe. And boom, here you go. What the heck? There's a sign up here. One plus one. Dax, are you serious? A math problem? Yeah, you're going to have to do some super, super difficult math if you want to get through this door. Dax, only a dummy wouldn't know the answer to this. It's obviously two. Wait, what the heck, Zoe? How in the world did you know that so quickly? Dax, I'm a lot smarter than you think I am. Okay, whatever, Zoe. Well, this next part is definitely going to test out your smartness. This is a huge maze, and you're definitely going to get lost inside. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm actually super good at mazes. Are you? Well, I bet you five stack of diamonds that you can't get through this maze. You got pranked. What the heck? What I just tell you, Zoe, there is no way you can get through this maze. I'm going to figure out a way out, and you'll just have to watch me. Uh, Zoe, how in the world are you going to figure a way out? It's really, really difficult to get through this. Okay, so I'm going to start from the beginning, hoping that I see something kind of strange. Well, do you see anything strange, Zoe? Not yet, but I'm definitely keeping my eyes out. Okay, how about I give you one little tiny hint, Zoe? What is it? There is actually a hidden door somewhere inside of this little maze that you're going to have to open up to get through. What the heck? A hidden door? Okay, so I'm just going to start clicking a bunch of things. Yeah, I mean, that's always a pretty good strategy. Clicking is the best thing to do. And whoa, you are getting super close, Zoe. Really? Yes, you are getting extremely close. Dax, I found it. Oh my gosh, look at that. You found the hidden door, Zoe. Now you can go inside. Now you owe me a stack of diamonds. Uh, no, Zoe, I owed you a stack of diamonds if you complete that other maze, not this maze right here. Whatever, you're just cheating now. I definitely get some diamonds at the end of this. And up, it looks like you can't go through the iron door, Zoe. What the heck? How do I get out? Well, there's actually a hidden button somewhere inside of this room that you're going to have to find. Oh my gosh, what is with all the hidden things in this maze? Because it makes it super, super difficult for you. Okay, so I'll just keep clicking around, but this better be the last thing that's hidden. What the heck? I opened it. It was too quick. Uh, well, maybe you have to be super fast then, Zoe. Dang it. Come on. You can definitely do this. How about you stand somewhere over here and then press it and then you can run through. Run. Come on, Zoe. You can do this. You got to be super, super fast. I'm trying. And there you go. Good job, Zoe. Woohoo. I did it. Oh, no. I do not like the looks of this. Yep. This next part of the maze is a parkour room. And this is super difficult parkour. So best of luck to you. Thanks, Stacks. I'm really going to need it. All these jumps are basically pretty simple, Zoe. So you shouldn't have that much of a problem doing it. And up you already messed up the first jump. Okay, come on, Zoe. You can definitely do this this time. That first time was just a fluke. Yeah, that first time was practice, but I wish you wouldn't put parkour in things like this because I really can't do it. Well, it looks like you're doing pretty good already. Look at that. You made the first jump. I know, but it was super scary and I'm getting super close to falling. Okay, Zoe, this next one is really difficult. There's a bunch of ladders that you're going to have to jump around in order to get to the top. Ladders too? You've got to be kidding me, Dax. Oh, well, wait, you're actually doing pretty good, Zoe. Good job. Thanks. I've been trying to practice, but I'm really not getting any better. Okay, and here's another really difficult part and make sure to hold shift the entire time because there are a bunch of iron bars that you're gonna have to go across i actually really like iron bars this is like the easiest part of the whole thing wait you really think this is the easiest part i honestly thought this was probably like the most hardest part no it's like the easiest part to me okay well maybe you're just better at parkour than i am yeah i don't think so but i am better at archery than you okay there are a few jumps left and once you get to the final jump you're gonna have to jump all the way on those slime blocks in order to make it to the end Ugh, gross slime blocks yeah they are a little bit gross but hey at least they're made out of the color green. That's like my least favorite thing about them. Okay, whatever, Zoe. Let's just see if you can make the jump. And whoa, look at that. Good job, Zoe. I did it. I did it. I am so surprised. Well, Zoe, I'm honestly not that surprised. You've been getting a lot better at parkour, but this next room is a little bit more difficult than some simple parkour. Whoa, what am I even supposed to do? Why are there so many entrances? Well, inside of this room, there's three different entrances that you could go down, and you're going to have to figure out which one's the right one. Ooh, gold is so sparkly. I'm going to go through here first. Yeah, I figured you'd like the gold and up. It looks like you picked the wrong one. What the heck? 
I died. What's with you and lava? Zoe, I'm putting a bunch of lava because I want to test out your super smart skill. So why don't you go ahead and try again? Okay, well, it's obviously going to be the purple since that's my favorite color. You really think that I'd pick the purple, Zoe? Wrong way. You've got to be kidding me. It's the dumb green tunnel. Of course, it's the green tunnel. Zoe, I'm never going to pick purple in my life. What in the world is this, Dax? This is a minecart room that you're actually going to have to shoot some archery things on in order to open up this iron door. This is super crazy. Now I just have to grab the bow and arrow from the chest, but why is this rail here? Because you're going to have to ride a minecart in order to shoot your bow and arrow. So look, here's a minecart for you. And then you can just hop inside of it and try to pick the right target. Whoa, this is not going to be easy. Oh, I'm sure you can do this, Zoe. And wow, you're actually doing pretty good already. Oh, that shot was a little bit off, but let me just give you another hit. It, wait a second. What? You actually hit the right one, Zoe. The door opened. That is awesome. I told you I was good at archery. Okay, that was pretty impressive. You did that really fast, but now you're on to one of your final challenges. Whoa, what is this? This is a water maze, and you're going to have to go inside and swim all the way around in order to get out. Yikes, but I think I'll drown before I get to the end. Well, I guess you have to be super fast then, Zoe. Good luck. Here goes nothing. Come on, Zoe. You can definitely do this. You're actually doing pretty good already. You're going around really fast. Thanks, Dax. I'm trying not to drown. Oh, gosh. I bet you're getting really close to drowning, but you're almost to the end. Come on, Zoe. Am I getting close? Only a few blocks left. You can do this and good job, Zoe. I did it. I did it. I'm a really good swimmer. You are a really good swimmer, but uh, yeah, look behind you. What the heck? Why is there armor and a netherite sword? This is super weird. Well, Zoe, obviously you have armor and a netherite sword because you're gonna have to fight your final bosses. Fighting my final boss? Who's my final boss? Well, why don't you just grab your armor and then you can see once you go through these doors. Okay. Okay, Zoe, now that you have all your armor, you can go through these doors and fight all of these buzz toilets. Oh no, buzz toilets? Ah, they're attacking me. There's too many of them. Oh my gosh, you're getting absolutely jumped. How in the world are you still alive right now? Because I'm super strong, Dax. What do you mean? Why are you sound so surprised? What in the world? I spawned in like a hundred of them and somehow you're still alive right now. I didn't think you're gonna be able to win this one. Because I don't lose. Oh my gosh, there's only like 10 left. What in the world? You're doing so good. Thanks, Dax. Only a few more left. It looks like five or six now. And man, you are really beating them. I would not want to mess with you. Thanks, Dax. But did you really have to spawn in so many? Uh, yeah, I did because it's your final challenge. And it looks like some of your armor's even breaking. This is not good. Wait, only one of them left? Come on, Zoe. You can do this. You just got to take them out. And boom, look at that. You took them out. Woohoo. I win. I win. Now you can go through my door and go to your awesome purple winner room. The purple winner room. This is awesome. This is like the most beautiful room I've ever seen. And there's purple candy. Yep. I gave you a bunch of purple candy for being a winner. Good job, Zoe. Thanks, Stax. Today, I'm doing a skibbity build challenge with my girlfriend, but what she doesn't know is I'm gonna be using hacks. Wait, what'd you say, Dax? Oh, I said we're doing a skibbity build challenge today, Zoe, and you're gonna have 10 minutes to make your first build. Really? Only 10 minutes? Yep, only 10 minutes, Zoe. Best of luck. Wait, what's that green stuff around you? Oh, it's nothing, Zoe. Don't worry about it. Okay, guys, and now we're on to the very first round of our build challenge, and like I said, I'm using super hacks in order to win this. I have a huge menu of a whole bunch of hacks that I can use to troll Zoe, but my favorite hack is an ultra awesome auto builder. And let's see, for this first round, what do I want to auto build? Oh, wait a second. What if I use this mutant toilet right here? And if you don't know, this is basically the combination of like a skibbity head and a huge speaker man. And oh my gosh, look how cool this thing looks. And in order to paste this thing in, all you have to do is press these two buttons right over here. And boom, look at that. We automatically have our build pasted in. And obviously this build is going to be way better than Zoe's. I mean, just look at it. There is just so much detail in this thing. There is no way she would get anything better than this. But before I go ahead and mess with Zoe with my super awesome hacks, I should probably build her out a little challenge. I think we should make her a quest room. Yeah, that'd be super, super fun. Okay, let's go ahead and fly up to the top of the head over here. And right inside of here is where I'm going to build up my little door. And of course, since my favorite color is green, I'm going to be making the entrance out of this lime green wool. Let's go ahead and put a door at the front. And then she can enter right here. And this is where the question room will be. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some signs and we'll also get ourselves some painting. Right in the middle of this is where we're going to ask our first question. And our first question is going to be what color is better? And guys, we all know that green is going to be the better color since it's my favorite color. But of course, I'm going to give Zoe the option to pick purple, which is totally not the right answer. Let's go ahead and place a painting down in the front of it like this. That way she could just walk through. But if she does pick the purple side, she's obviously not going to pass. So we're going to make her fall straight down into some lava. That will be super, super funny to see because I know she's gonna pick the purple side but just in case she does i'm gonna go ahead and put green over here let's go ahead and put the same painting down like 
this, but now if she just picks this side, she can walk through to our next question. Let's go ahead and put our next question area right about here. And the next question is going to be, who is cooler? On one side, we're going to put in the skibbity toilet, which is not going to be the right answer. And for our other side, we are going to put the Titan speaker man, which is like the coolest character ever. Okay, let's go ahead and break this out so we can put our little painting there and Zoe can walk through. But like I said, the skibbity toilet is not going to be right. If she ends up picking it, she's going to fall straight down into a pit of lava. But if she does end up picking the Titan speaker man, she can move on to her next question. Next up, we're going to have another what is better question. On one side, we're going to be putting in salad. And on the other side, we're going to be putting in candy. And if she picks candy, it is obviously the right answer. We all know that salad is immensely better than candy. Let's go ahead and throw in our sides here so we can put down our paintings. And like I said, candy is going to be the wrong answer. So if she walks into this, you guys already know she's going to walk straight to some lava. But if she picks the salad side, she's free to move on, which means she beat our little question room. But guys, that's totally not going to be all she has to do. We're going to have one final challenge for her, which is going to be a little bit of a boss fight. Past this gate right here, she's going to have to fight a whole bunch of creepers if she wants to officially win. But just kidding, even that's not going to be enough. Once she ends up beating the creepers, we're going to go ahead and get her a little water bucket, and she's going to have to jump from the top of this all the way down into a couple blocks of water. And if you don't know, that is extremely difficult to do. Okay, now that that's built out, we should probably go check on Zoe's side. And guys, in order to get to Zoe's side, I actually don't have to fly over there. If I go to my super awesome hacker menu, I should be able to find something called free camp. And look, there it is. Now, as soon as I click on this, I can just go ahead and leave my initial body. And oh my gosh, look, there's my body right there. And now I can just fly over and Zoe will have no idea I'm actually flying. And what the heck? Wait, she built out this huge toilet. This actually looks pretty cool. Wow. Well, my build is looking so good, but I think I need to build a challenge for Dax. Wait, she thinks she's going to build a challenge for me? I mean, her build does look pretty good. I honestly have no idea how she built something like this, but what does she mean by a challenge? I know Dax really likes parkour, so I think I'm going to add some. Wait, she's going to add in parkour? Okay, guys, while she's trying to make parkour, why don't I mess with her a bit? The first thing I'm going to do is build a water course. Wait, she's going to build a water course? What in the world does she mean by that? Because if Dax touches the water, that means he's going to lose. Uh, okay, this is a little bit weird. I'm pretty sure I could do water parkour. There's nothing special about this. But you know what? I kind of want to use one of my other hacks. If I type in this command right here, it is called gravity. I can change any of the gravity in Minecraft. If I go right here and type in gravity set up, Zoe, she should just fly up into the air. And oh my gosh, look at her. She's upside down now. What the heck? Why is everything turned around? Oh my goodness, this is so funny. Zoe literally got flipped on her head. Dex, is anything weird happening on your end? Uh, what are you talking about, Zoe? Nothing weird's happening on my end. Seriously? I'm like upside down right now. Wait, you're upside down? That is a little bit weird, Zoe. Um, I don't really know what to tell you about that. You just might want to fix that before we have to check out each other's builds. Um, I'm trying my best, Dax. This really sucks. Okay, guys, I feel a little bit bad for Zoe. So let me go ahead and make her stuff normal like this. And boom, she should be back to normal now. And wait, why? all the way over there what the heck how did i end up here and look i'm right side up again okay guys zoe looks a lot more happy and she is building out this little course you know what i should just let her build out her little challenge and i can probably add a few more touches to my thing let's just go ahead and go back to our super awesome hacker menu and i can click on free camp and perfect i'm back in my body now okay let me go ahead and add in the little armor stand so zoe can fight off all those creepers dex i'm tired of waiting can we show our builds now Oh, yeah, uh, I guess we can show each other's builds now. How about we check out your side first? How does that sound? That sounds perfect. Okay, Zoe, I'm heading over right now. Okay, Zoe, I am super, super excited to see your build. I'm super excited for you to see it. Come on over. And whoa, Zoe, this actually looks pretty cool. I see you added in a few different blocks, which makes this even better. Yep, that's my build. And then I also built a little challenge for you. Wait, you built a little challenge for me? Wait, is this parkour, Zoe? Yep, it's water parkour. Wait, what if I just jump in the water and swim across? That would get me a win, right? No, Dax, that would not be following the rules. Wait, what? So I have to jump on each block or something? Dax, as long as you don't touch the water, you can do whatever you want. Wait, guys, did she just say I don't have to touch the water? Let me just go ahead and see if I have a little bit of a hack for this. I should have one called Jesus. And yes, perfect. If I click this on, I should be able to just walk over water. Okay, Zoe, I'm ready to go. Okay, on your mark, get ready, go. Okay, and here we go. And oh my gosh, wait, I'm walking on water, Zoe. What the heck? You're walking on water and I don't even see you touching it. This is super crazy. Yeah, it looks like I'm actually beating your course legitly because all you said I had to do was not touch the water. How did you learn how to do that? Uh, I learned how to do it back in the war. Yeah, that's how I learned. In the war? What the heck? Okay, well, you're definitely not going to be able to complete this parkour. 
Whoa, is this like a little ladder wall, Zoe? Yep, and I know you're trash at ladder walls, so this should be super fun. Oh gosh, guys, she is right. I am pretty bad at ladder walls. Let me see if I have anything else that can help me out. Oh, wait a second. There's this one called Spider, and it allows me to climb on walls. This might be perfect. Okay, Zoe, I'm ready. Let me see if I can complete this parkour. And wow, these jumps are super, super easy. Yeah, it starts out easy, but it gets super hard. Oh gosh, there are a bunch of ladders here. Let me see, what can I do? And oh, look, I can just climb the wall like this and walk over. What the heck? How are you doing that? I don't even know how you got up there. Oh, I don't know. Let me just fall down again and maybe I can try again. And perfect, look, I made it back up, Zoe. Are you serious, Dax? How are you doing that? Up and I fell on the ground. Guess I have to start over. Ha ha, I knew my parkour was super tough. Yeah, it was totally your parkour's fault. Let me just go ahead and go back up and perfect. Now I'm all good to go. What the heck? How is he doing that? This is way too easy and Whoa, wait, is this next part like a tightrope, Zoe? Yep, and you have pretty bad balance, so you should fall pretty quickly. Oh gosh, guys, you already know I'm gonna need another hack. Oh, wait a second, what if I turn on this one hack called safe fall? I'm pretty sure this will allow me to not fall off anything. Okay, Zoe, I think I am ready to go for this tightrope now. Okay, Dax, give it your best try, but I'm sure you're not gonna do good. Let's go ahead and see it. Whoa, look, I'm actually doing this pretty fast, Zoe. Are you serious? You're running through it. Oh man, this is so easy. I'm not even falling off the edge. And wait, it says winner at the end. I'm the ultimate winner. What the heck, Dax? You have gotten so good at parkour. This was crazy. Oh, thank you, Zoe. I'm just like super, super talented. But you know what? I think I'm going to give your build a solid 9 out of 10. It looks pretty good. A 9 out of 10? That's a fantastic score. All right. Well, now it's time to go check out my super awesome build. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Zoe, welcome over to my super awesome build. What the heck, Dax? This looks amazing. Oh, thank you, Zoe. It was really nothing, but this is the mutant toilet, and I tried to put a little bit of detail, but I really didn't have enough time to add as much as I wanted. Not as much as you wanted? What do you even mean? This thing is awesome. And what's up here? Oh, this is a little challenge I actually have for you. A challenge? So do I just go through the door? Yeah, you can just go through the door and see what your first challenge is going to be. Whoa, is this a question room? Yeah. Yes, it is, Zoe, and you're going to have to answer three different questions in order to move on. Okay, first question is, what color is better, purple or green? Obviously, it's purple because purple is the best color ever. Okay, Zoe, I guess we'll see about that. What the heck? I'm dying, Dax. Help me. <laughs> Zoe, you really think I would ever say purple is the best color ever? Well, maybe because it's my favorite color. I thought you were just being nice. No, Zoe, I'm never going to pick purple, so I guess you're going to have to go through the green side. Yuck. Green is like the worst color ever. I don't even know why you choose to dress in green. It's really unflattering. What in the world? That is so mean. So I just go through the green side. Okay, here goes nothing. And perfect. You made it on to your second question. Wow, another question. How many questions are there? There's one more question after this, but this one should be pretty easy. Okay. Who is cooler? Titan Speaker Man or the Skibbity Toilet? Well, Zoe, which one do you think is cooler? Honestly, I like the Skibbity Toilet. Wait, you like the Skibbity Toilet better? Zoe, what's wrong with you? What the heck? Where am I? And wait, you avoided the fire. No, Zoe, get back in the fire. What the heck? I don't want to be in the fire. Dax, I died. Zoe, you know the Skibbity Toilet is nowhere near as cool as the Titan Speaker Man. You better go on the Titan Speaker Man side. Okay, yikes. These are opinion questions. How can there be a wrong answer? There is always a wrong and a right answer. But this is your final question, and I totally hope you get it right. What is better, salad or candy? I'm going to choose salad. Oh, you actually got one right, Zoe. Good job. Seriously, I know that candy is a lot better than salad, but I just had a feeling that you like salad over candy. What the heck? Okay, you actually tricked me, but now you're going to have to do another super, super hard challenge. What the heck? Another challenge? You're going to have to fight off a whole bunch of creepers if you want to move on. Creepers? Dax, you know I'm afraid of creepers. Let me just spot in a few of these guys. And Zoe, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and fight them. Yikes, these guys are super creepy. There you oh, go, Zoe, no. take them out. I'm going, Dax, I'm going. Oh, no, they exploded. What the heck? You are still alive. And wait, they all blew up. How in the world are you still alive, Zoe? Because I'm super strong, Dax. Why would you even ask me something like that? Uh, okay, whatever, Zoe. But you're going to have one final challenge. You have to jump into that block of water down there. A block of water? Oh, no, that's a far drop. Best of luck, Zoe. What the heck? And what the? Wait, did you actually make it in the water? How is that possible? Because I'm super good at aiming. Uh, okay, whatever, Zoe. Well, that was my entire build. What do you want to rate it? I'm going to give you a 9 out of 10. Wait, Zoe, you had a 9 out of 10. I know that means 
are tied. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and have one more round to determine who the real winner is. Sounds good. Okay, guys. It seems like me and Zoe got the same score for the last round, which is a little bit ridiculous because my build was way better. But if we're going to have one final round, I totally can make something awesome. And let's see, what do I want to build for this round? Oh, I have the perfect idea. What if I go ahead and build the speaker man? And whoa, look how cool this guy looks. This guy is like super, super tall. Look how big he is, man. This is an awesome build. And you know what? Since this is a really big build, I should probably add in some parkour for Zoe to do. Let's go ahead and get some blocks and also grab some ladders. And then I'll also grab a few things of water so she can have some water jump. Let's start building out our first area, which is going to be some basic climbing. And then she's gonna have to do a little bit of parkour across a few blocks let's go ahead and also make one of those ladder parkour things because those are always really really cool to see from there she's gonna have to go up in this direction okay and this is looking pretty good and now i just wanted to go ahead and connect to the titan speaker man over here and from here is where she can climb over to her next challenge which is gonna be a bit of archery let's go ahead and build out a little arena and we're also gonna need some fences for the edge i'll just go ahead and smack these all the way around and we'll also make sure to throw in a bit of a chest with some arrows and a bow. And if she wants to move through, she's going to have to hit all five of these targets. But once she's done with that, she's going to have one final challenge that she could go into. In this next room, we're going to be having a whole lot of paintings in here. And she's going to have to figure out which painting is the real one in order to move through. So let's go ahead and fill up this room with a bunch of different super cool paintings. And perfect. I think those looks pretty good. But now we need to figure out where the actual exit's going to be. Let's go ahead and put it in these corner where this block is. Let's go ahead and add in a few oak planks like this. We'll throw in a couple signs. That way the painting can actually sit here. And perfect. This looks pretty good. Now, once she makes it through this, this is where her winter room is going to be. And in order to make the winter room, we're going to make the entire ground out of purple. We'll even make sure to throw in a chest at the end with a bunch of different purple things. And you know what? Now that I'm done with my side, I should probably go check out on Zoe to see how her build's coming along. And perfect, guys. Now that I'm in my free kit mode, I could just go over to Zoe's build and wait what the heck how in the world did she build this huge thing perfect i am so happy i cheated this round so i can finally win the build challenge wait did zoe just say she cheated in this round that is totally messed up this build looks super good and i even added a few challenges that there's no way the ducks can get through Wait, she added in a few challenges. Let me see. It looks like there's some type of mining challenge here. And then there's a bunch of cobwebs that I might have to get through. And wait, what in the world is this? Oh my gosh. It looks like she took my jumping into one block of water idea. These challenges totally suck. I am definitely going to destroy Dax this round and win the build challenge. Okay, guys, I think I've seen enough. Let's go ahead and get our free camp back, and then I can go back to my normal body. Okay, Zoe, well, I basically already done with my build. Can we just check out each other's builds to end this? Yep, let's do this. And of course, first off, I'm coming over to your build. Let's see what you got. I bet it's not even that good. It's super good, Dax. Why would you even say that? Well, let's see it. Whoa, Zoe, you built this huge thing? Yep, isn't it amazing? What the heck? This is pretty cool. How in the world did you even build this? I'm just super duper skilled, like the best builder you probably know. I mean, I guess so. This definitely is one of the best builds I've ever seen. Good job, Zoe. Thanks, Dax. But let's go take a look around. I have a few challenges for you to complete. Oh, you have some challenges for me? This is going to be so much fun. And whoa, Zoe, wait, is this the first challenge right here? Yep, it sure is. Go on through. And whoa, what in the world is this, Zoe? This looks kind of cool. This is a find the diamond challenge. There's a pickaxe in that chest that you're going to get out. And then you have to find the diamonds in under a minute. Oh my gosh. Okay. That sounds like so much fun. Let me just go ahead and grab this pickaxe like this. And you said I only have one minute, Zoe? Yep. Timer starts now. Okay, guys. And of course, I'm actually not going to be mining. Let me go ahead and see if I have a really cool x-ray hack. And oh, look at that perfect eye do. And now I can see everything. And oh, gosh, wait, there is so many different material I can barely see. Dex, why are you looking at the floor like that? Oh, uh, I just tried to figure out where I have to mine, Zoe. Don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and see if I can find this diamond, man. This is super hard to see. It. Oh, wait, I think I found it. Perfect, Zoe. I found the diamond. Are you serious? How did you even know where to go? Uh, because I'm super smart, Zoe. That was super, super easy. Whatever, Dax. There's still more challenges for you to do. Okay, let me just turn off my x-ray so I can do the next challenge. And Zoe, what is this supposed to be? Dax, you have 10 seconds to run through these cobwebs. Otherwise, you fail. Wait, 10 seconds to run through the cobwebs? Oh, gosh, guys, let me see if I have something that can help us out. Come on, there has to be something good in this whole list. Oh, wait a second. There's this one called No Web. It prevents you from getting stuck in cobwebs. This is perfect. Okay, Dax, your time starts now. Okay, let's see it. Oh, gosh, look, I'm stuck inside of these cobwebs. I'm super, super slow. Eight, 
seven. And perfect. Six. Now all I have to do is just run through all of this. And Zoe, that was such an easy challenge. What the heck? Those cobwebs didn't even get in your way at all. How is that possible? Yeah, those cobwebs just suck, Zoe. But wait, it looks like you have one last challenge for me. What is this? Yes, sir. You need to walk the plank and land in the pool of water. Wait, I have to land on that one block of water down there? Yep, you sure do. Oh, gosh, guys, come on. Let me see if I have something else I can use. Oh, and perfect. I see this one hack called the glide, which lets me slowly fall. Okay, Zoe, I am ready to go down in three, two, one, and here I go. You better be careful, Dax. Yeah, what the I'm heck? being super careful. What the heck? Why are you going so slow? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm like super light or something. This is a bit weird. Yeah, you're not that light. I am pretty light, and now I'm going to land on the water with no trouble at all. Are you serious? Well, how are you moving so slow? You're cheating somehow. What the heck, Zoe? I am quite literally not cheating. That was just a super easy challenge, and boom, I landed right in the water. Well, I guess you did beat all my challenges, so what do you rate my build? I think I'm going to give you a solid 8 out of 10. This was pretty good. An 8 out of 10? What the heck? This deserves at least a 9. No, your challenges weren't challenging enough, so I had to take off a few points. Whatever. Let's go ahead and just go to your build. Okay, Zoe, welcome over to my Titan Speaker Man build. Whoa, this looks exactly like the Titan Speaker Man. I know, it's so good, and I spent a lot of time making it. I think it looks pretty accurate. This is super cool, and do you have any challenges for me? Yes, I do, Zoe, and you're gonna have to start right here at the parkour. Seriously, Dax, you put parkour? You know I'm really bad at that. Yeah, that's exactly why I put the parkour. There's no way you can beat this first try. Well, I actually bet you a stack of diamonds that I can defeat it on the first try. Oh, okay, Zoe, I take that. You're going down. Okay, Zoe, let's see what you can do. Okay, Dax, I'm definitely going to get on this first try, so don't be surprised when you owe me some diamonds. There is no way you can get this on the first try, Zoe. This parkour is super difficult. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. I think you've been kind of slacking in the building department. And what the heck? You already made the first jump? Yep, and it wasn't even hard. Okay, and it looks like you made the second jump. Zoe, how in the world are you so good at this? Sheesh, looks like all my practice is paying off. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely ridiculous, but you're definitely going to mess up soon. No way, I'm going to do this all the way to the top. What the heck? There's only a few jumps left. And wait, this is the final jump. And wait, you actually beat my parkour? How in the world is that possible? You suck at parkour. Because I'm getting better because I know you always make me do parkour. Okay, whatever, Zoe. But now you're on to your next challenge, which is an archery challenge. Ha! Huh. Archery? Are you kidding me, Dax? You know I'm like the best archer you know. Go ahead and open up the chest, and then you have to hit all these targets right here in order to move through. This is going to be so easy. I really doubt that, Zoe. You are not going to hit all these targets first try. Dax, I'm willing to bet you double or nothing that I can hit all of these targets on the first try. What? There is absolutely no way, Zoe. We'll go ahead and see. And wait, you've already hit two out of the five targets. There's no way you can do this. What were you saying, Dax? Oh, no. And you're getting super close. Come on. Please don't hit these last two. And wait, there's only one more left here goes nothing and oh my gosh okay you hit all the targets fine zoe let me go ahead and give you two stacks of diamonds and there you go Woohoo! this is awesome okay zoe whatever forget about that challenge you have one final challenge in this room right here what is the challenge you're gonna have to find the way out that's all i can tell you okay so i guess i'll just start clicking around to see if there's like a hidden door or a hidden button uh, yeah, there's no hidden door or hidden button, Zoe. I'll tell you that much. Um, I'm not getting any hidden buttons or hidden doors. Dax, can I have a hint? Okay, let me just tell you, you're gonna have to jump in order to find your way out. What the heck? I'm gonna have to jump? Yeah, you're gonna have to jump in. Wait, you're getting super close. Oh, gosh, and look at that, Zoe. You made it. Whoa, Dax, I almost fell off the side. But hey, look, you made it, and now you can move on to your final part. Really? The final part? What is it? This is your winner's room, and you can open this chest and get a bunch of purple stuff. This is awesome. What is this purple stuff? This is amazing. It's just purple dye, Zoe, but now you're done with my course. What do you want to rate it? I mean, considering you had a treasure for me and I won so many diamonds, I think this is a 10 out of 10. Which means I'm going to be winning the build battle. Good job, Dax. You definitely deserve it. Today, I'm doing a skibbity build challenge in Minecraft with my girlfriend. But what she doesn't know is I'm going to be hiring the TV woman to help me make all of my builds. Well, anyway, Zoe, are you super excited for today's skibbity build challenge? I am so excited. I love the skibbity characters. Well, Zoe, if you come over to the dispenser over here and look inside, I have a bunch of different skibbity builds that we could possibly be building. Ooh, can I push the button? Yep, whenever you're ready, go ahead and hit the 
button to see what we're gonna build first. Whoa, it's the skeleton toilet. Oh my gosh, the skeleton toilet is so crazy. Okay, Zoe, you're gonna have 10 minutes to make your build. Best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys, and like I said earlier, I'm gonna be cheating by hiring the TV woman. And the first thing I'm gonna have to do is type into the command right here. And wait a second. Oh my goodness, I think the TV woman's head actually spawned in. Now when I go over there, she should be inside. But as soon as I flick this, boom, the door will open up. And look, guys, it's the TV woman. Hello, Dax. I heard you needed some help building today. Yes, I would love some help. I really need your professional building skills to help me beat Zoe in this build challenge. Sweet. So what are we building first? Well, the first thing I want you to build is the skeleton toilet. Do you think you can do that? Yep, I could do that easy peasy. I'm like the best builder ever. Awesome. Thank you so much, TV woman. And while you're building that, I'm going to go check up on Zoe's build, okay? Okay, have fun. Okay, guys. But in order to get over to Zoe's side, I'm going to need to change myself a little bit. And I think the best way to do that is by getting an invisibility potion. So now once I splash myself with this, I'll become completely invisible. And now I can just walk over to Zoe's side without her noticing. Let's see what she's doing. And whoa, look, it looks like Zoe's starting to build the base of her toilet. This is actually looking kind of cool so far. Perfect. I've laid out my square to start building my toilets. Now I just need to build up to make the toilet part. This is going to look so good. Man, Zoe is really doing a great job. I think I'm going to have to mess with her a little bit before she gets too far in this build. But what's something good I could do, guys? Oh, wait a second. I have the perfect idea. What if I spawn in some different cameramen to mess with her? Let's see. We should have a good cameraman somewhere around here. And oh my gosh, the camera did just perfect. Okay, just need to add some finishing touches and then this will be perfect. Oh, guys, this is the perfect opportunity. Okay, let me go ahead and spawn in some camera plungers and watch them attack Zoe. What the heck? Are these camera ninjas? Oh my goodness, they're completely jumping Zoe right now. She looks so confused. Uh, they're coming after me. Okay, she is completely getting jumped. What if I help her out a little bit by going into my inventory and I can grab a diamond sword and then I can go ahead and place this inside of her inventory so she can fight them off. Yay, now I can defeat the camera ninjas. Okay, she's actually doing a pretty good job. Let me go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these guys that can completely destroy her. What the heck? There's even more of them. This is not good. Oh man, it looks like Zoe's really getting jumped out here, but man, she's doing a pretty good job. She is taking out a bunch of these camera plunger ninja guys. I'm so glad I've been training and hitting the wave room. I'm destroying these guys. I don't even need Dax's help. What the heck? She is completely destroying these guys. Hey, you two, stop being lazy. Get down there and beat up Zoe. We have to destroy her. Come on. And oh, wait a second. I think she just took out the last one. What the heck? Oh yeah, I showed those camera ninjas how strong I really am. Okay, she did do a really good job at taking all those guys out. Man, what's something else that I could do to mess with Zoe. Oh, wait a second. I have the perfect idea. What if I go ahead and make all of our toilet right here out of green? So all I need to do is put one position here and then fly all the way up to the other side and set another position. And then I can just go ahead and replace all the white wool to be lime colored wool since lime wool is the best color in the world. And boom, look at that. Now it's lime green wool. What the heck? Why did my white wool turn green? Dax? Uh, hey, Zoe, what's up? I mean, just take a guess. My build just turned green. Your build just turned green. That's a little bit weird, Zoe. Yeah, super weird considering it's your favorite color. Zoe, you remember you are colorblind, right? What if you're seeing the wrong color? Yeah, I really don't think I am, but maybe... Well, I'm gonna come check it out real quick just to confirm for myself. Okay, Dax. Oh, guys, this is perfect. Let me go ahead and get myself a milk bucket and I'll go ahead and drink the milk bucket and then I'm gonna do all the stuff that we just did with this one simple command and now it should all be white again. Hey, Zoe, I thought you said this was colored in green. This looks pretty white to me. It just changed colors again, I swear. Uh, I think you might be going a little bit crazy, Zoe. This definitely looks like all white wool. Literally no green here except the grass. Dax, I swear it was green two seconds ago. Uh, whatever you say, Zoe, I'm just gonna head back to my side, okay? Okay, whatever you say. Okay, and since we're heading back, this actually gives me the perfect chance to check up on the TV woman. Let's see how our build's coming along. Let's go ahead and check this out, and oh my goodness, TV woman, did you build this huge skull toilet? Yep, I sure did. Doesn't it look good? What in the world? You're literally like the best builder ever. Thanks, Dax. I'm really good, and I know it. Well, we still do have a few minutes left. Do you think you could do a few different things for me? Yeah, what do you need? Well, I would love you to build out like a really big parkour course, and then maybe have like a big trampoline jump at the end where she has to jump into water. That would be really fun. Ooh, that would be really fun, especially because Zoe isn't very good at parkour. Exactly. Okay, you go ahead and get started on that, and then I'll meet you back whenever the time's up. Okay, see you soon. Thanks so much, TV woman. Whoa, guys, her building skills are absolutely insane. But since we still do have some time left, I should go back over to Zoe's side and mess with her a bit. Let's go ahead and put our visibility back on ourselves just like this, and now I can walk over to Zoe's side, and what the heck? Her zombie skeleton acid toilet looks so cool. How in the world did she even make this? Yay, my build is 
almost complete. Now I just have to make a little challenge for Dax. What the heck? She's even going to make a little challenge for me? I wonder what she's even going to try to pull off. Let's see what she's doing. And whoa, wait, what is she building? This looks like fences. First, I have to make this enclosure for Dax's question room. And then I can put somebody in here and ask the question. Wait, she's going to make a little question room? That actually sounds kind of cool. I wonder what the questions are going to be. And once he completes the question room, then he'll enter the parkour area. Wait, what? She's going to build a question room and a parkour area? This is going to be such a cool little challenge. Honestly, I don't know how much of the challenge I want to spoil for myself. Maybe I should just throw a few different dynamites at Zoe to mess with her while she's building this. Well, I think the first thing I should actually grab is something called the lightning dynamite. Because if I throw this at her, a bunch of lightning will spawn in. What the heck? Where's this lightning come from? Oh my gosh, guys. She looks so confused. But it looks like it didn't bother her that much. She's doing pretty much fine. Okay, why don't we go ahead and throw a few more at her just to mess with her? What the heck? It lit the ground on fire. I hope it's not messing with my build. Oh, wait. I don't think any of it hit her build, actually. So she's going to be fine for the most part. Whatever. I need to focus. There's only a minute left. I need to finish this parkour. Wait, did Zoe say there's only a minute left? Oh, gosh, guys, come on. We have to get back to our build quick. Let's go ahead and drink the milk and bucket, and then I can check on the TV woman. Okay, and whoa, it looks like she added in a bunch of parkour. This actually looks pretty good. Hey, TV woman, are you done with the whole build over here? Yep, I'm pretty much done. Wow, this looks awesome. You did a great job. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. Okay, well, like Zoe was saying over there, we only have like a minute left. So if you want to go back inside that TV woman head so you can hide and Zoe doesn't get mad, I'll take the rest from here. Okay. Okay, sounds good. I'll be in the TV woman head. Awesome. Thank you so much, TV woman. Wow, guys, look at all this parkour she built out. There's like a bunch of fan parkour and whoa, there's even these emerald ones and these emerald ones actually shoot you super high. Look at that. So what I'm guessing she has to do is use all these parkour pads and then eventually jump onto this little thing. And then it looks like she has to jump all the way down into a few blocks of water. Man, this is definitely going to be a super tough challenge for Zoe. Let's go ahead and see how she's doing. Okay, Zoe, well, my build is completely done. Are you ready to check out each other's builds? Yep, I am super ready. Come on over. Oh, I can come over to your side first. That sounds perfect. Of course, because mine's the best build ever and you want to see it first. Okay, let's go ahead and check out how your build is looking. And whoa, Zoe, this actually looks really good. Yep, I'm like super talented at building. Honestly, this might be one of your best builds yet. Really good job, Zoe. You did great. Thanks, Stacks. I'm glad you like it. But there's a little bit of a challenge on the inside. Oh, there's a challenge for you? I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to destroy your little challenge. We'll just have to see. You just have to walk through these doors. Uh, Okay, let's see what's inside. And whoa, wait, there's a bunch of questions. Questions. Yep, it's a question room, and if you answer the questions correct, you get to move on. Ooh, okay, this should be super easy. I'm like an ultra genius with questions. Yeah, we'll just see about that. First question, Dax. Who is better, Dax or Zoe? Wait, who is better, Dax or Zoe? Zoe, you know, I'm completely better than you at builds and everything. I'm a super talented builder. No, nope. first question, incorrect. Wait, what? How is that not right? Because you answered it wrong. I mean, how plain and simple can I put it? Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Let's just move on to the next question. Okay, next question. What color? is better purple or green wait purple or green everyone knows that green is way better than purple zoe that's not true dax man you're really answering these questions wrong what in the world these questions are literally rigged zoe this isn't fair at all moving on next question is zoe taller than dax true or false zoe you are quite literally not taller than me and you know this if i get this one wrong i'm gonna be so bad dax we've stood back to back and i am an inch taller than you so you did in fact get that question wrong what the heck zoe this is so rigged how am i supposed to move out of all these questions are impossible. Okay, Dax, I'll tell you something. If you get this last question right, then I will let you move on. Uh, okay. This one better be easy. What is one plus one? Uh, isn't it just two? Wow, Dax, you're so smart. You did it. Okay, looks like you get to move on. Uh, yay, I did it. <laughs> that was super easy, whatever. Okay, go ahead and go through the doorway. Okay, and what is it? Is this a parkour? Yep, it sure is. Oh my gosh, Zoe, this is way too easy. I'm a parkour pro. I know, you're super good at parkour, but now you have to land in the water. Wait, the water? Water. And why are there two different options, Zoe? You have to choose the right one. Oh gosh, wait, the right one? I see what you're doing there. I might as well choose the one on the right. And wait, what? I fell into the void. Haha, -ha, you lost. How in the world did I just fall through the floor, Zoe? That's so messed up. I know you so well, Dax. I knew you were going to choose the right one. That's why the normal water's in the left one. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, that's the right one. Well, I guess I beat your little bell, didn't I? Kinda. You did answer all the questions wrong and you fell into the void, but you did pretty good. Whatever, Zoe. I'm going to give your bell a solid 7 out of 10. It is pretty cool. I'll take a 7 out of 10.
again. All right, let's go check out my build, which is a million trillion times better than yours. Okay, Zoe, welcome over to my side. Wow, this is super cool. How did you build something so big? Uh, because I'm like the greatest builder ever, Zoe. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, you are pretty good, but I still think I'm better. No way, Zoe. And once you do my challenge, you're going to be totally disappointed. Really? You have a challenge too? Of course I have a challenge, and it's a bunch of parkour. If you look right over there, you'll just see a bunch of parkour where you can start at. You Dax, you know I'm not very good at parkour. Uh, yeah, that's exactly why I built it, Zoe. Well, I guess I can give it a try. I have been practicing. Let's see how you can do. I made this super, super difficult. I really doubt you can get this on the first try. Dax, have some faith in me. How about this, Zoe? If you can beat it on the first try, I'll just give you the round win. Really? Then I'm going to try super duper hard. I mean, I really doubt that you can do this first try. It is super difficult after all. Dax, I'm kind of killing it right now. I'm feeling pretty lucky about this. Okay, just wait, Zoe. It's about to get a lot more difficult. Don't get too confident. What? Double fans? Are you serious, Dax? Triple fans? And I even added another fan to the top. Just wait till you get all the way up there. This is not good. Hopefully I can do this. Okay, Zoe, there's this fan and then there's one more fan and you'll be at the very top. Whoa, I almost fell. Yeah, that was super close, but I'm sure you can do this and whoa, good job, Zoe. Thanks, Dax. I'm doing super good. You know what? You didn't land on the wood platform, but you're pretty close, so I guess I'll give that to you. Thanks, Dax. It really means a lot. Okay, and this is your final challenge. This is a big drop and you have to land all the way in that water at the bottom in order to move through. Dax, what the heck? You know I'm afraid of heights. Oh, I'm sure you can do this. Come on, Zoe, you have to jump. Okay, here goes nothing. And and there you go. Come on, Zoe. And perfect. Look at that. You landed right in the water. Yay. I did it. I did it. I didn't think I was going to land in there at first, but I sure did. Well, like I said, Zoe, that gives you the first round win. So let's go ahead and head back to the dispenser to see what we're going to build next. Yippee. Let's go. Okay, Zoe, whenever you're ready, go ahead and hit the button and see what we got to build this time. Whoa. It's the Astro Toilet. Whoa. The Astro Toilet is going to be so much fun. Okay, Zoe, how about this time? You only have five minutes to make your build. Sounds good. You are so going down. Okay, guys, we might have let Zoe get that last round one, but I'm totally going to destroy her this round. Let's go ahead and head back to the TV woman and see if she can help us with this next build. All I have to do is open up this door and hey, TV woman, are you still here? Yep, I'm right here, Dax. Okay, I'm definitely going to need your help again and we actually let Zoe win that last round, so we're going to have to go super hard mode this round. What? I can't believe she won. Yes, we're going to go super hard this round. Okay, what I'm going to need you to build is a UFO toilet. Do you think you could do that? A UFO toilet? That sounds super cool. I can definitely do that. Okay, and while you're building that, I'm going to go ahead and mess with Zoe a little bit. Have fun. Have fun, Dax. And of course, before I go over there, let me splash myself with this invisibility potion. That way, Zoe won't be able to see me. I doubt Zoe's done anything yet. And wait a second. What the heck is this? How did she already make this? Wow, this looks so good. My build is practically done. What the world, guys? There's no way she actually made this. Okay, we have to mess with her real quick because this is completely unacceptable. Let's go ahead and go into our inventory and we'll grab this astronaut toilet. And what we're going to do is spot a bunch of these around Zoe while she's making her build completely destroy her. Whoa, what the heck? Are these astronaut toilets? This is not good. Oh my gosh, guys. She looks so confused, but wait a second. She's flying? Why in the world is she flying? Haha, ha, they can't even get up to me. Good thing I can still fly. You know what, guys? Let me go ahead and put her in survival mode real quick. And there we go. Now she fell from the sky. Ah, they're jumping me. I can't fly anymore. Oh my gosh, guys. This is perfect. So it is getting completely jumped over here. This is not good. How come they're jumping me? Where did they come from? And you know what? While she's getting jumped, why don't I go ahead and grab myself a piece of dynamite? And I'm thinking we'll throw the physics dynamite at her just to mess with her. What the heck? And now I'm being blown up? This is not my day. And, oh, uh, wait a second. Did I just blow up all of the astronaut toilets? Oh, gosh. That wasn't a good idea. Wait, where did the astronaut toilets go? I guess they got blew up in the explosion. I guess it is my lucky day. Oh, my gosh, guys. Okay, that was a horrible plan on my part, but let's go ahead and do something else. Let's go ahead and turn all of this ground into lava. And the way I'm going to do that is by selecting one side here and fly all the way to this side over here. And then I just have to set the floor to lava and boom. Now, Zoe Side's completely destroyed. What the heck? Why is the floor lava? This is not good. Haha, <laughs> guys, this is so funny. Zoe looks so confused. You know what they say? You have to make lemonade out of the lemons that the world gives you. So I'm gonna make this lava a parkour lava. Wait, what the heck did Zoe just say? She's gonna make this a parkour lava? What is that gonna do? This is gonna be a super hard challenge for Dax. I am not going easy on him this round. Wait, she's gonna make the parkour challenge for me? Oh my gosh, guys, we keep setting her up with a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, okay, I need to do something else, but what should I do? You know what? What if I just grab a different piece of dynamite? But what should I grab? And ooh, this x-ray one looks pretty cool. Let me go ahead and chunk it all the way over there in the middle of Zoe's lava. What the heck? Why did these blocks turn into glass? No, part of my build turned into glass. This is 
is not good. Oh, this is so funny. And while Zoe's making all these changes, let me go back to my side and check on the TV woman. Of course, I need to drink my bucket of milk and then I can just walk right over. And oh my goodness, look how ginormous this UFO toilet is. TV woman, this looks so good. Oh, hey, Dex. You really mean that? You like it? Yeah, this is like one of your best builds yet. There's so much detail and so many different blocks. Man, you are such a good builder. Thanks, Dex. I really am good, though. Well, we still do have a few minutes left. You think you can add in a couple things for me? Sure. What did you want me to add? Well, I want you to make like a fake entrance and a real entrance. That way we can actually trick Zoe when she tries to come over here. Ha, huh, that's going to be so funny to fake her out. Yep, I can definitely do that. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and check on Zoe one last time. Okay, have fun. Let me just grab my invisibility potion again. And perfect. Now I can just walk over there like normal. Okay, and whoa, it looks like Zoe actually cleaned up the parkour area a lot. This actually looks pretty cool. Perfect. I finished the parkour and now my build should be ready to go. Honestly, this does look pretty cool. Even though there's a bunch of glass everywhere. Hmm, should I do one more little thing before the time ends? I think I should. There is this one TNT called the Entity Firework. And when I light this up, there's going to be a bunch of pigs that spawn in. So let me go ahead and put this TNT at the top of Zoe's build and then we'll just watch it all blow up and whoa, look at all the pigs. What the heck? Where did these pigs come from? And they're falling into the lava. It smells like bacon over here. Oh my gosh, they are all getting burnt alive. Okay, Zoe's going to have to deal with all this. This is too funny. Let me head back to my side real quick. Okay, it perfect. It looks like the TV woman might be done. Hey, TV woman, are you doing with the real entrance and the fake entrance? Yep, I sure am. Follow me this way to the fake entrance. Oh, and I like that you made it out of purple. That's definitely going to trick Zoe. But wait, why would you give her cake? Because that's going to fake her out. When you walk through that tunnel, there's ghost blocks. Wait, there's ghost blocks. Let's see. And whoa, look at that. She'll fall straight in the lava. That's so funny. Yep. I did pretty good, right? I think this is pretty good, but where's the real entrance at? We'll have to show you. Whoa, wait, is this the real entrance? Yep, it sure is, and I made it out of your favorite color. Wow, you did, and it looks like you added in a bunch of lasers that Zoe's gonna have to try and get through. Yep, she's gonna have to try super hard to not hit the lasers. Wow, this looks super difficult, and whoa, even at the end, you have a little pool that she has to jump into? Yep, and Zoe's afraid of heights, so we'll see how that goes for her. Oh, this was so perfect. Oh, thank you so much, Tivo, but you can go ahead and go back to the little head while we do the round. You're welcome, Dax. See you next round. Okay. Okay, and now that we're pretty much done with our build, let's go ahead and see if Zoe's done with hers. Hey, Zoe, how's your build coming along? Mine is completely done and ready for you to evaluate. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm going to head over and I'll judge your build first. Okay, come on over. Uh, Zoe, before we start, I do have one question. What is it? Why are there so many pigs everywhere? Oh, well, when I was just about done with my build, the pigs came flying out of the sky, so I've made them all my pets. Uh, that sounds a little bit crazy, Zoe, but whoa, your build actually looks pretty good. Thanks, Dax. I've been trying super hard. And let's see, do you have any type of special challenges for me to do? Yep, if you come this way, there's some lava parkour for you to complete. Oh, lava parkour? I love parkour so much. All right, Dex, so your goal is to get to the very top of the build. Oh, I could definitely do that. Watch this, Zoe. I can do this parkour in no time because I'm super fast. Wow, you are doing it super fast. Maybe I should have made it a little bit harder. This is way too easy, and I'm a professional at this. I could do this with my eyes closed, and ow, I fell into the lava. Dex, what the heck? How'd you fall? I have no idea, but don't worry, Zoe. I can definitely do it this time. You got this, Dex. And perfect. I made that jump. Now I only have a few more and then I can use this little fan to get to the top of the build and boom. Look at that, Zoe. I made it all the way up. Wow, good job. You're doing really good. That was honestly a lot of fun. And since your build is really cool this time, I'm going to go ahead and give you an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10? Heck yeah, that's better than the last round. All right, now it's time to go check out my super awesome build. Okay, let's go. Okay, Zoe, welcome over to my super cool build. What the heck? This thing is huge. Uh, yeah, because I'm like the best builder in the world, Zoe. Duh. You are pretty good. This is really awesome. Oh, thank you so much, Zoe. But I also have a few challenges for you, just like you had for me. Really? Well, where's the challenge? Well, the first thing you have to do is figure out the right way to get into this build. Okay, well, it looks like there's some purple over here, so this must be it. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Go ahead and get yourself some cake, Zoe. You beat the course. Ooh, I love cake. And Zoe, what you the? thought you really thought I would let you beat the course that easily? Dex, I died because I fell into lava. Well, Zoe, that was obviously the fake entrance. You're going to have to go ahead and find the real entrance. Well, it's definitely not going to be purple, so maybe I should look for some green? Uh, yeah, you should definitely look for some green. Oh, it looks like there's some green up here. Oh, it perfect. I think you might have found the entrance. Oh, no, this is not looking good. Yep, it's a bunch of laser parkour that you're going to have to get through. Yikes, I am not good at parkour. Well, I'm sure you can do this, Zoe. Just make sure to take your time. Okay, here I go. And it looks like you're doing pretty good so far. Good job, Zoe. Thanks, Dax. Okay, and now you have to make a little double jump, and then you just have a few more different jumps, and you should be good to go. Okay, but Dex, don't look at me too hard because I get nervous. Ah, uh, okay. I guess I could just stare at this wall over here or something. Yay, I did it! Wait, Zoe, how in the world did you 
just get through that fast? Jax, I don't know. I'm just super skilled like that. Okay, whatever. Okay, and now you have one final jump, and then you can move on to your final part of the challenge. Okay, here goes nothing. All right, that was a good jump, and here's your final part here, Zoe. Oh, no, this looks super high. Yep, it is super high. You have to jump all the way down there to some water. Are you serious? Yep, best of luck, Zoe. Okay, here I go. And whoa, you're going so fast. I made it. And perfect. Good job, Zoe. You went into the water. Woohoo, does that mean I win? Uh, I mean, yeah, you did pretty good. You won, I guess. But what do you want to rate my build? I would probably give it like a 9 out of 10. Oh, it perfect. It's just I got a 9 out of 10. That means I win this round. But you know what that means? The next round is a tiebreaker. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the final round then. Let's do this. Okay, Zoe, whenever you're ready, go ahead and hit the button to see what our final build's gonna be. Whoa, it's the Tri-Titan. Whoa, the Tri-Titan's gonna be so much fun. Okay, Zoe, this is gonna be a really quick round. How about you only have five minutes to make your build? Sounds good to me. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys, is this, this is a speed round. I need to go tell the TV woman to build this quick so I can see how Zoe's build's coming along. Let's go ahead and run into the TV woman head right here. And hey, TV woman, I need you real quick. Hi, Dax, what do you need? I need you to build the Tri-Titan. Do you think you can do that? Yep, I can do that. How much time do we have? Uh, we only have five minutes, so you're gonna have to be super, super fast. Okay, I'll get to work. Okay, guys, and while the TV was getting to work, let me go ahead and look at Zoe to see how she's doing. Let's go ahead and see it. Wait, what the heck? She already made her build? And wait, who in the world is this guy over here? Thank you so much, Mr. Tri-Titan, for helping me make this amazing build. I'm surely gonna defeat Dax. Oh, yeah, you're totally welcome. I made it as good as I could. I hope it's to your needs. It is. It's more than what I needed. It's perfect. Thank you so much. Wait, did she just get this guy to actually make the Tri-Titan build? That's totally cheating. Thank you so much, Mr. Tri-Titan. I think I'm gonna take a nap because I saved so much time because I hired you. Wait, is Zoe going to take a nap, guys? This is absolutely ridiculous. But you know what? This does give me a really good idea. Did Zoe's taking a nap? Let me make a little purple doorway. And inside of this doorway, we're gonna place out some super explosive TNT. She is gonna be super confused where this came from. But since it's made out of purple, she's probably not gonna question it too much. Let me go ahead and throw in two of these TNTs in the floor right here. And then we'll just fill up with some grass and put some pressure plates on top. And now she's definitely gonna go step in that. But okay, quick. Let me go ahead and get back to the TV woman to see how the bill's coming along. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. And whoa, this tri -tite is so big. Whoa, good job, TV woman. Thanks, Dax. I really hope you like it. And judging by the other side of the wall, your build is twice as big as Zoe's. Oh yeah, you did such a good job. But I don't think we have any time to make any type of traps this round. We're just gonna have to go with this. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, thank you for all your help, TV woman. I'm definitely we gonna win this round. Fingers crossed. Okay, Zoe, well, my build is already ready to go for this round. Are you ready to check out each other's builds? Yep, I am ready to go. And how about you come over to my side first? Okay, I can do that. Okay, Zoe, just come this way and you can check out my super ultra awesome build. What the heck? How do you build these things so big? I don't even have enough time. Uh, because I'm the best builder ever, Zoe. Duh. You are a pretty good builder, Dax. This thing is amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Zoe. I really tried my best, but sadly, there are no challenges for you this time. You're just gonna have to give me a rating. Well, since you don't have any challenges, I think I'm gonna have to give you like an 8 out of 10. Wait, an 8 out of 10? Zoe, do you see how big this thing is? Yeah, it would be a 10 out of 10 if it was just based off looks, but you didn't include any challenges. Oh my gosh, whatever. Well, I doubt your build's gonna be anywhere near mine. Let's just go check it out. Let's go. All right, Dax, come this way. And whoa, Zoe, this build looks really good. Yep, it does look pretty good, right? Probably one of my best works. Yeah, I would definitely say one of your best works, but why is there a purple house in the front? That's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe the Tri-Titan built it. Wait, what did you just say, Zoe? Nothing, Dax. Looks like there's nothing in here. Hmm, super strange. Wait, Zoe, did you step on some pressure plates? I don't think so. Whoa, Dax, why is the wall being destroyed? Wait, what the heck, Zoe? There's a bunch of meteors coming down. What did you just do? What the heck? My build is destroyed. Oh my goodness, Zoe, you're getting everything destroyed. Look, my build's getting completely destroyed too. Yikes, this is not good. I didn't mean to. The Tri-Titan must have done that. What in the world? And wait a second, Zoe, it looks like your build's completely gone, which means I'm gonna win this round. No, what the heck? I paid that guy for nothing. Wait, you paid who, Zoe? Nothing, Dax. What in the world? Were you cheating? No, definitely not. Oh my gosh, you know what? Whatever, it doesn't even matter since I completely destroyed you anyways. Yeah, you did win since you're the last man standing, but the next time, I'm gonna win. And if you guys enjoyed that video and wanna watch more Dax and Zoe, make sure to click one of the videos on screen. Bye, guys.